two, one. Whippity, whippity, bippity, bop. What is up, my man? This whippity, is Kyle. Whippity, bop. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kyle, a.k.a. Keezy. Uh, if you say so. And this is my main man, and a.k.a. I'm Aaron Hernandez. Oh, it's coming to the iPad. <laughs> what up, Aaron Hernandez? Is that a football player? Yeah. Oh, I've heard of him. Yeah, he's the guy that played for the Patriots, but then got arrested for murdering people and then killed himself in jail. Oh, that's good. Just a couple years ago. I did hear about that. Guy. Yeah. I thought he was an appropriate name choice today since, you know, that but, Super Bowl felt like it was missing some killer. Was it? I didn't watch any of it. It was fucking hot garbage. I keep seeing memes about it being boring. It was 13 to 3. Really? Like, nobody scored. Wow, that's so boring. Yeah, it was not fun. Holy it shit. It was terrible. And the Patriots won, which is yeah. not fun. I mean, I... I fucking hate the Patriots. I know haters gonna hate. There goes a the Bluetooth connecting. Um, ha- haters gonna hate. I mean, I'm not a hater. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't even know no, nothing wait, about wait, Tom Brady, wait, wait. but let's, I know let's, he's let's, the let's GOAT. Let's just pause. You know? Let's, no, he's not. He's not. <laughs> okay. He's not the GOAT. Has okay. he taken his team to the Super Bowl, like, seven times? Like, nine. Sure? And he's won like six, except yeah. for, let's be very clear, there's a big old asterisk all over the Patriots fucking organization. You're talking okay? about the inflation gate? Deflate gate, fucking, uh, <laughs> Deflate there gate. was the camera incident. There's like numerous incidents of them getting caught cheating. Whoa, really? Yeah, there's like a bunch of them. There's like six of them. I didn't know of them getting that caught cheating. So every time they win, people are like, oh, you got to respect this man. The f- I'm not saying he's not a good quarterback. I'm not saying he's not a great quarterback, because yeah. he clearly is. But you have removed yourself from any kind of greatest dis- dis- discussion ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, once yeah. you got all those little asterisks and you've been caught cheating a bunch, get the fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> and I don't want to hear anybody talking about like, oh well, they all do it. Then why are the Patriots the ones always getting caught cheating? Uh, why do they get? Why are they habitual line crossers? I didn't know that. Fuck out of here! I didn't know that they cheated. That yeah, much. they cheat a lot. Wow. They, they got caught filming other teams. Uh, hand signals that at practice so that they could predict their plays, like all kinds of wild shit. Like, fuck out of here with this Tom Brady's bullshit. the goat shit. He's great, undeniably great. I'm not disputing that. I mean, I think he's a piece of shit, but he's undeniably a great quarterback. He's but not, he seems like he's a nice guy. No, fuck that guy. Really? Fuck that guy. Is he like a cool, fuck Tom like, Brady? Charitable. Fuck Rob Gronkowski. Fuck Robert Kraft. Fuck Bill Belichick. And Gronk? fuck the whole fucking organization. Gronk is the most unlikable fucking person I've ever seen in my life. He I seems cool. Talk. I saw him no. on a commercial. Gronk seems like if he wasn't so goddamn big, everybody would have picked on him. Like he's really awkward. I saw he's him. Not playing, really cool. He was or playing swap. video games with Conan one he's time. He's a big dumb ogre. He's like he's fucking ridiculous. I fucking hate all of those guys. Watch that clip of him playing video games with Conan. I can't remember what game it was, but he was cool on that. He seemed like a nice guy. I don't know. I literally don't know. No, anything he's like him. he's like those dorky fucking dudes that like are kind of socially awkward, but because he was so big and good at football, mm. he like everybody thought he was cool anyway. And okay. so now like he's painted as this cool guy. Like no, fuck out of here with all of that shit. You're all fucking trash. Sound, fuck the Patriots. Suck my dick. Sound like a hater, man. No, I fucking hate the Patriots, and I hate just because they cheat. It's professional sports. <laughs> Somebody cheats, and all of a sudden you can't like him anymore, man. What's up with this world? What kind of fucking country? I mean, I'm is this? no I that's Boston America. fan to begin with. That's it. Fuck him. I don't know why it's not playing. <laughs> You're really trying with the sound effects today. Oh, there you go. I do not fuck with the Patriots. Yeah, take that. That's it. Gronk sucks. Gronk's cool, man. Gronk's trash. Gronk! Oh, yeah, we didn't clash yet. Clash, damn it. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. We're not even drinking coffee today because we got started late. I would have drank coffee anyway, but it's whatever. What? Uh, I would have drank coffee anyway. I drank caffeine all day. I, I would have, too. I just didn't feel like making coffee. Yeah, that's, okay. that's fine, too. I just wanted to blame you for being late. Okay. Let's just go ahead and address it, bro. Go ahead. I was late. I slept super late today. For context, for all the like three hun- hours late, <laughs> for all the hundreds of new viewers, let people know what time you normally get here. I normally get here around eleven. That's yeah, about right. It might be eleven fifteen. It might be ten forty five some days, yeah. but it's around eleven. We usually go live around eleven thirty. That's the goal, right? Okay. Today you got here what? I woke up at like one forty five. <laughs> <laughs> it's only like one. It's only like two now. Oh, well, maybe it was uh, twelve forty five. You tell te- what, what time? What time did you text? Whenever I text you, it was right when I woke up. Bro. I, I was still around, laying in bed when I text you. I texted him at like eleven thirty, like 
I haven't heard. He usually texts me something in the morning, or I get like an email about I the usually, raise the bars. I usually make it a point. You should have the email from the raise the bars, but it was probably last night. Uh, maybe. I but didn't pay attention. I usually make it a point to um, text you in the morning just so you know I'm up and moving. It was 12.54. Yeah. When so you that, first that, that's like within two minutes of me waking up. Yeah. <laughs> you said, yo. <laughs> Yeah, I, so. I texted him like I'm just gonna start my day, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I'm I not gonna like, keep waiting. Yeah, my bad. I, I can do the show myself. <laughs> no, I what guess. happened was last night I was listening to music to do my raise the bars, and I have these Bluetooth headphones that I just got, and I was listening to them. This just happened to my brother too, like I don't know, a month or two ago. He missed his flight to fucking Spain because of this. But mm. um, I was listening to the music on my headphones, and I just bought these Bluetooth headphones. Mm -hmm. So I'm listening to music on the Bluetooth headphones. I'm writing my raise the bars, doing all that. And got finished, put the headphones away, went to bed. I had alarms set, everything. My alarms went off, but I didn't, I didn't hear them because I never disconnected my Bluetooth headphones. <laughs> <laughs> so the alarm was going off in my headphones in my backpack. <laughs> Whoops. How annoying. Yeah. But yeah, that's why we're late today. Sorry. No biggie. I mean, it's not like I was doing shit. It gave me time to just piece together shit. I mean, you would think do. because my brother did that, that I should know better. Yeah, I guess you, you gotta learn firsthand. I guess so. I just but, got them, bro. They're, I'm new to Bluetooth <laughs> headphones. I got gotcha. you. The catch is, I mean, there's been how many times have you overslept? Like over the past year, it hasn't been a million, but it's been at least like five. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'd say at least five, five to eight times. It I'd hasn't say. been more than five. How many fucking it's times you got five. oversleep? Oversleep it's probably five for a show that starts at like noon. <laughs> Well, I mean, let's I know also, you're a night let's, owl. Let's, He's a night owl. We get let's it. Let's also keep in mind that, like, I work late. Yes, we get it. And I, um, I had another excuse. What was it? There isn't. You don't have one. Kids somehow. Oh, I have like a long commute here. Like, it takes yeah. like a half an hour to get here every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's mm -hmm. things that that make it take longer. It. It's all good. Yeah. No clashing. It's okay. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, okay? It's all good. Um, so what's, what, what's going on, man? What's cracking? What you been doing this past week? Uh, I, know well, I, I played a lot of Resident Evil. I, see, I was going to say, I seen you posted on Facebook that you got that, uh, what was it? Uh, S? The S rank on hardcore difficulty, oh. which is not pull up, Pull easy. up your screenshot. Well, well, uh, first, I got I, it set to auto focus. It should focus Well, now. first of all, I got this, which you're probably not going to be able to see because it's real small. But yes. this is my Steam library, and it says I've played 54 hours of Resident Evil 2. Damn, bro. Yeah, I've been going in, bro. There it is, 54 hours. Um, so to everybody, like my one of my buddies, Rob Wilson, he uh, hit me in my inbox, and he was like, yeah, game's cool, but like I'm a little fucking mad that Capcom keeps making these short fucking games. Why am I paying all this money for these short fucking games? Yeah. I logged 54 hours, and I'm still nowhere close to done with it, so... If if you're beating it once and done with it, like that's not how it was intended to be played, right? At all, like there's all kinds of unlocks for like different play. I'm sure he also played one playthrough of four and yeah. thought he was done. He's a uh, but, fair weather fan, man. I mean, like he should have waited for it to go on sale. I've been fucking going ape shit with this game, and bro, I how many times have you be beat it? Uh, well, I beat it six, except for I've really beat it seven because um, prior to yesterday, I was trying to get my S rank on hardcore. And in order to do that, you have to beat the game in under two and a half hours. And I thought it was three and a half hours. Ah, shit. So I got all the way to the final boss, looked at my time, and it was at three hours. And I was like, I got a half an hour. Sweet. <laughs> and then I looked at something online, and I was like, oh. That sucks. So you just quit. Yeah, because I already beat right. him on hardcore. So there was, no, there was no point in me beating the boss at that point. Yeah. I gained nothing from that. Yeah. So I just started over. And that's when I went and got my hardcore S, and I beat it in two hours and eight minutes on hardcore. Damn, is there speed runs of it yet? Yeah, there are. People are doing it like, like if you do like the easy difficulties, I think somebody's down to like an hour and eight minutes. Wow. But I was doing it on the hardest. Wow. The hardest, the best run I've seen on the hardest difficulty, I think, is like 154. Okay. It's like world record territory, and I'm at 208. So I'm pretty close. Wow, that's pretty fucking good, dude. I'm pretty close. Like, those are like professional speed runners, too. You gonna like, go for it? No. Uh, no, uh, no. <laughs> Those guys, when they're doing it, they're doing it like with no saves and like all kinds of crazy shit. I saved 19 times, bro. I kept dying yeah. and running back, and they're better than me. But I'm by no means casual either. You know what I'm saying? I'm I getting it in. I um, but how, how come I'm not finding it on here? I see Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil Remake. Dude, just type in Resident Evil 2 Remake. There's Resident Evil 2. I did, and it wouldn't fuck come up. Hello. Resident Evil 2 Remake. 
2019 is what it was right there. Was it on there? Yeah. Oh, okay. That nope. was not coming up earlier. All right. Um, so I'm on speed run. Here, I'll, I'll um, show you guys. But see, there's like different categories for speed runs. So like okay. this one here says 55 minutes, except for what's the category? Yeah, this looks like it's um, new game standard. New game standard. So like I was on hardcore. Go to new game hardcore. All right. And one hour and eight minute, 30 seconds. Wow. That's pretty fucking good. Yeah, although, again, we don't know, like, because there's all these different parameters for different speed runs, like, they could be using hacks. So they could be skipping sure. sections of the game. Like, I don't know. I'm not saying they are. There, there will usually be, um, like, uh, filters for that. Like, look, um, let's see, difficulty, uh, obsolete. Oh, no, right. Usually, yeah, it'll, like, specify, like, 100% or um, with mods or whatever. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, any, yeah. Or it'll say any. Any percent or some shit. Like I said, I've been watching like some of the like top speedrunners in the world. I've been watching Bok Ba Soup and Trance and all those guys, Carcinogen. Oh, there it is. Look, new game glitch <coughs> and new game plus glitch. So neither of these are glitched. That's no oh, no glitch. Yeah, well, One hour, eight minutes. Um, Dang. And, I, and where are you pulling this from? Speedrun.com? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know anything about speedrun.com. So again, I can't comment on this. But um, I know that all the world's top speedrunners have said that there's no, there is effectively no world record because um, there is no official way to submit your time. Okay. I mean, like, like from Capcom. Oh, okay. Which is the way that they wouldn't hold speed, like uh, world records and things like that. Well, who's they? I mean, it depends. I, I guess. mean, all the top speed runners. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not super in depth with it. Is uh, there, not, are there actual guy. like official speed runs <clears throat> like from gaming companies? I thought it was all just kind of like a, you know, again, I don't, I don't know all the, I don't know all the created details, like, but forum um, type I just saw, thing. I think it was trance actually the speedrunner was talking about how, you know, he had the world record at one point and then it was taken like within like 20 minutes of him, somebody else beat him and then he took it back. He was like, none of it really matters because there's no way to officially submit your time. So huh, right I, now, uh, right now, until they do that, it's, it's all kind of. I haven't got Sticky. horse shit. Um, I think as long as somebody can prove that they've done it, like, what's it matter if there's an official fucking... You got official at Capcom.com. You got to email it to this guy. Like, who cares? You know, I, think I, don't, it, I don't think it's all that. I think it's probably like RE Net or whatever. But yeah. um, <laughs> either way, if they did it, they did it. You know what I mean? That's how well, I'm I not it. trying to discredit anybody. I'm just... Sounds like I'm just it. saying Sounds this, like is, this is exactly what's, what you're trying to do. <laughs> no, I'm saying this is exactly the commentary that's been going on in the Resident Evil community. Oh, okay. Um, but... Fuck those people who are haters. They're just haters, is all I say. I don't think so. Um, like they all like like why, each other. I mean, and why like, people want to lie about it? Though, they're all competitive you know? together. They they. Why the fuck would people lie about it? They do all that. Um, but yeah. So right now, my best time is hardcore. Uh, two oh eight on Claire A. But I've now logged like a fuckload of time into this. Um, this is the best video game ever, bro. Like, it's the best game ever. <laughs> Bro, they took my favorite game and made it better. That's awesome. And, like, it's fucking great. It's so good. I love it. I'm going to be playing forever. I still have to get the S-plus rank, which okay. is, I don't know. It's probably going to be years before I get that. Oh, shit. It's basically you got to get an S rank, but you have to do it with three or less saves. Have you been playing it every day? Yeah. Yeah? Is that the only game you've been playing? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, and I've really been into it, bro. Gotcha. I've really, really been diving in and learning all the little intricacies, and it's really fucking hard. Like, this is a really, really, really hard game, but it is so good, bro. Like, it's just so fine-tuned. Like, when you're speedrunning, you can just tell that, like, Capcom took all this care to, like, making sure that they place enemies in certain spots, and mm. everything is just right just to fuck you. Like, <laughs> it's so, it's so perfectly, masterfully done, and, like, when you first play it, Mr. X, the guy that chases you, have you seen him? No. Doing the trench coat with the hat? Mm -mm. All right, well, Mr. X is, like, one of the main, like, big baddies, and he, you can't kill him. Okay. He just, at certain sections of the game, this he guy? will pop up, yes, and he will just chase the fuck out of you and beat the shit out of you, and there's nothing you can do about it. You just got to run from him. And um, the first couple times you play, he is the scariest fucking thing about the game. Yeah. And, like, now he is, like, my least concern. <laughs> because I've, like, learned all the, how to, like, control everything. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, so, like, when he comes, like, he ain't shit. Like, fuck out of here, bro. Like, I know how to dodge you. I know how to, like, get around you when I need to get around you. I know how to lose you. I know how to stun you. Okay. Um, 
So, like, he's the most mortifying thing. But, like, when you get to, like, the harder difficulties, man, those fucking liquors and shit, they will fuck you up, bro. They are fucking horrible. Like, the worst part is, like, sometimes Mr. X will be chasing you, and he'll follow you all through the police building. So, like, when you go into different rooms, he'll just keep coming for you. Okay. But if you get far enough away from him, you can lose him, and he'll start, like, looking for you. And that's how you, like, get shit done. Because there's, like, when, when you get to, like, the first major Mr. X portion... Like, there's, like, whole weapons that you can finally get for the first time, and he's chasing you. So you have to get him, like, in the midst of, like, completing objectives with him chasing you. Okay. And it's very stressful. So there's sequences where you'll get caught in, like, a hallway with him behind you and a liquor in front of you. And liquors are blind, so you can walk right past them as long as you're real quiet. So you can't run, you can't fire guns, except for if Mr. X is behind you, you gotta run. Or you gotta stun him, shoot him, and stun him. They want to tag Mr. X. No, nah, Mr. X will fuck them up. He'll walk over and punch him. Oh. They'll go flying across the room. But like, if you're caught in a hallway and there's a liquor on one side of you and Mr. X on the other side, which the game is set up to put you in that compromising position more mm -hmm. often than you would think, like it's so like you'll get caught in that and you have to make a decision: Am I gonna try to run past this liquor and scare him and then he's gonna kill me, or? Am I going to shoot Mr. X and stun him? Because if I don't, he's going to kill me. Mm. Like, it's fucking crazy, bro. This shit is so fucking good. It's so good. And they have, like, on the harder difficult, or, or on the B scenarios, they've, like, remixed the puzzles. So, like, you can't just do them as quick. Okay. It's fucking wild, bro. They went all in on this shit. It is so amazing. And I love that everybody else feels the same way because I know now they're going to make more of them. Oh, that's what's up. I and seen that like, Capcom. Was, I seen a. I think I posted on. They're uh, making Kata Resident Clash. Evil Three. There's no way they're not making Resident Evil Three after the way this has been received and the way people are loving it. People are speed running it, and it's getting fucking all these rave reviews, and it's selling like fucking crazy. There, and they said we're gonna make Resident Evil Three. Dude, you know what they could do? They're now? making it. They're making. They it. never have to make a new Resident Evil. They could just remake three, and by the time they get that, they're on remaking four, and they just keep this cycle going all the well, way through seven, and then all the way do it again. Honestly, I would prefer that they did that. Yeah, I know that seems ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I got. But like, it. this is so good. Like, I want all the originals because the originals are my favorite. Yeah. I want them to redo that, and give them this you. treatment. So I'm totally on board. Um, I will say on that subject that there was a rumor leaked from a guy that has been right about a bunch of internal stuff before. We don't know that this is fact, but it came from a guy that's been right about a bunch of stuff that. They are already making Resident Evil 3. Okay. And that it's supposed to be out before Resident Evil 8. Wow. So my guess is because they have the assets, which is what I said before, mm -hmm. because they have the assets, they're, they were already. They just immediately that. They started. were, were going to do that. Yeah. <clears throat> they just said the, if you guys want it, we'll do it. They said that because they knew everybody was going to want yeah. it because it was already getting rave reviews. So they were already working on it. So the rumor is that could possibly be out as early as next year. Oh, shit. Because Resident Evil 8, they've already been working on. They said yeah. this is going to be out before it. Damn. Now, that's all a lot of rumors and a lot Damn. of hearsay, but that would be fucking awesome. For Resident Evil fans, that's what's up. Also, as much as I would love to see 4 get the treatment, because it could use a facelift, mm -hmm. it still holds up pretty well. Um, Like, if they're doing 3 now, they need to do Code Veronica before they mm. do 4, which is effectively the real Resident Evil 4. Yeah. I got you. Like, that was four, and they just switched the name, and then they went back to four. Yeah. I got you. And it's more like the old ones, too. But, yeah, they should do Code Veronica before that. But, yeah. Wow. There's another thing I want to talk about as okay. far as the way that Resident Evil was making me feeling. Because I've had a revelation about the Resident Evil series. A Resident Evil revelation, yeah, too? No, no. <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, as a longtime Resident Evil fan, I have been a part of this divisive... Um, culture where Resident Evil fans are split. Some like the old camera angles. Mm -hmm. Some like the new over the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Then they threw in the first person mm -hmm. and everybody didn't know how to feel about that. And everybody can't decide how they want Resident Evil to be. Now, I have always been in the camp of I like the traditional old school fixed camera angle stuff. Yeah. Now, I have enjoyed lots of the third person stuff, so I haven't been as hard against it as everybody else has. But I have been in agreement that it has ruined a lot of the tension, horror, mm. all that, in sake of for the sake of like action and all that. Okay. I had a, re a revelation with Resident Evil Two. Okay. That's not the case. Resident Evil Two made me realize that the camera angle doesn't matter at all. 
I always like the old school camera angle because it was so much more horror focused. Except for Resident Evil 2 is absolutely horror focused. And so is Resident Evil 7. Okay. And what I learned was I don't really care how the camera angle is. I'm okay with any of the three, which I never realized before. And I also thought part of the reason that I hated Resident Evil 4 so much and everything after was because they abandoned zombies. I don't think that's the case either now. My opinion has changed. Hmm, okay. Um, I think... I think a lot of that came from the just them switching the whole pacing to action. That was the real issue. While I much prefer zombies, 7 didn't have zombies and I loved it. Yeah. So, what do they have instead of zombies? In 4 they have Ganados and in 5 they have the Magini and 6 I don't even know what the fuck they're called cuz oh. I only played it once. But, they're um, all, like, affected by viruses. Yeah, shit, I though. mean, it's the same general concept, but, like, they get to the point where they're, like, using weapons and uh, yelling at you and doing all all kinds of shit like that. Sometimes they have guns, grenades, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it turned into something different. I got you. Um, so I much prefer zombies because that's what it was, but I have realized that, like, none of that really matters. That wasn't what changed that fucked it all up. What was it? Just the writing? It was just the pacing, the, the whole direction they took it. Hmm. They were more action games instead of horror games. Okay. And the tri- horror game, it's better at horror than it is at action. Well, look, they tried some shit out. They got some good stuff from it and then implemented the good stuff back into the old stuff. They're back on track now. And, and they got like a nice fucking beautiful mixture of something. Well, you like know? there was a long time where I thought Resident Evil was like... Falling off. Yeah, like I, I'm never going to enjoy this the same. Like this is falling apart. And I feel completely 1,000% confident Capcom has righted that ship. Hell yeah. Like, maybe Resident Evil 6 is what they needed to realize that they were fucking up. Maybe. But everything since is fucking phenomenal. Well, that's what's up, man. Fucking great. I'm glad you love it. I really enjoyed that. I've been really happy about that. It's also when stuff lives up to the hype, you know? Like, especially your your own hype. I mean, like, part of that, too, is like they so overachieved. Yeah. Like, I knew what I wanted, and it was very specific. And they gave me something a little different than that. But they so went like above and beyond. Like they and knew what you wanted fucking, more than you did. They hit. <laughs> I mean, they could have given me what I wanted. I would have been happy. But they did better. They did better when I wanted. Yeah. They did. They created something that I hadn't envisioned. Okay. Something I didn't even think was like a thing. And it's better. And it's just that is a fucking home run, man. That's awesome, bro. That shit is great. I love that. Fucking great. That's so I don't cool. want to drone on about Resident Evil. For, I mean, I kind of do, but... No, I get um, it. <laughs> like, this is, like, as happy in video gaming as you're ever going to see. <laughs> That's this amazing. is the pinnacle, bro. We're at the mountaintop. We're at the peak. I'm trying to think of anything in the world that would give me that feeling right now, and I'm having a hard time. I mean, the only thing that could possibly give me that feeling would be, like, if, um, if ICP was, like, That's it. Great Malenko 2 is coming out. It's gone. <laughs> you know that, that would just disappoint you. I know. You know it would. Uh, but what if they were like, this is an album that we recorded. It was supposed to be Jekyll Brothers, but we lost it. But then we found it. I'd be like, oh! Yeah, that'd be pretty whoa, nice. I can, see why, be cool. I can see why you would like that. I can see why you would like that. <laughs> you know, that'd that, be pretty cool. That's the only thing comparable I can even kook, you know, kook up. I don't know the word I'm looking for there either. Um, whip up in my head to even be comparable. That. That's awesome, you know. That's a it's a great feeling. I can't think of anything, man. Like this is the peak yeah. happiness yeah. in video games that I'll ever feel, and it feels so fucking good, bro. Yeah. Oh, it feels good. That's so sweet. I love that shit. I love that shit. I wrote a fucking thing on Facebook. Like, thank you, fucking Capcom. <laughs> thank you. I guess I, if, th- thank you for giving me this joy. I guess if they were to release an Earthbound two, I'd be pretty fucking stoked. But then again, they kind of did that. Mother three was essentially Earthbound two, and it was fine. Don't get me wrong, it was fine. But there's no Earthbound, you know. There's no video game that would do it for me, I don't think, other than this was Ocarina than, Remastered. Bro, this is better <laughs> than the original Resident Evil 2. Yeah, that's fun. That's You've heard me part. drone on about Resident Evil 2 a million and one fucking times. This is better, bro. Yeah, that's great. All right, all right. Let's, let's, I mean, what more can you say, man? We love it. Here, hold on, wait. It's I'll, so good. It's so fucking good. I love it. Oh, I, I need to get And it's there. really fucking hard. This shit will make you mad, bro, but in all the right ways. I saw it on the, um, down by the bay. I was going to download it. <laughs> You should download it, bro. <laughs> play that shit. You yeah. you owe it to yourself to play that shit. Even if you don't like horror games, you owe it to yourself to play that shit because it's 
that fucking good, bro. Like, I feel you. This shit is. I like it better than God of War. I like it better than fucking Horizon Zero Dawn. All those games. You hear me talk about how much I love Prey. Yeah, I like it better than all those, bro. Like, this is the best. It's the best. It is a monster bash. Oh, it's in Ninja. It's like six monster bashes in one. Monster bash. Monster bash that shit. <laughs> it's fucking good, bro. All right. Um, I've been playing some games. What have you been playing? I've been playing games on the Switch. I've been playing. Um, you know what I forgot? I was what? gonna finish Pika Niku last night. I Aww, forgot. I got yeah. like. I'm pretty sure I'm very close to the end. I forgot about. You probably it. are. That game was. I forgot. It was super short. Um, so last week we talked about a game called Piku Niku. Let me show you guys. Did you like it? Yeah, I had. I was like, it's so charming. As I it? was playing, I was like, ah, like I found myself like smiling several times. Like, it's funny. It's so weird. It's really like, funny uh, how me, they're like all scared of the little dot. Like, ah, yeah. it's the beast. And the humor. And you're just standing there like, uh. The humor is really funny. Like the writing's good. You know, it's 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 a silly game, but it was but, very political. It was. It was, there was I a, did not expect that from that game, bro. There is like a um, revolution happening in the game. It's pretty crazy. Like it's like big business is like ruining everything, and yeah, they're like rallying against them. I like how the guy at the very beginning he's like, "Hey, free money!" Like just <laughs> giving everyone money. But what's happening in the game? You're this little guy. I'm trying to pull it up, but this shit's messed up. Um, they can't even see it, can they? No, not yet. Um, you're this little guy that is like a beast that's been trapped in a mountain, and uh, you finally get out. A beast. You're a little yeah. red dot. You're a little cute red dot with eyes and you, wobbly legs. Yeah, you finally get out, and then like you just run around. Like there's three areas mainly. There's this area. There's a tree like a top area. Yeah, forest area, and there's like a lake area. Yep. Um, but there's not much. Like uh, I mean, a five year old could play this game. Literally, well, a five year old no, could. My my five year old watched me play this game, yeah. and he really wanted to play this game. But my five year old could not play this game because he can't read. Yeah, that's true. Um. Not being able to read is the kicker there, but yeah. for the for what it's worth, like if outside you, of that, it's playable by. If you can read, anyone can play this game. Like it's so easy. But there was like a, I, I, actually, I take it back. There wasn't really any parts that I found challenging. I found other the than, dance part challenging in the nightclub. You did that part was kind of tricky. I, I did it, it the like first six try times. times. <laughs> really? Yeah, I did it like I'm not very good at those kind of games, but yeah, it took me like six tries to get that done. I had a hard time, it, it, which essentially is like a guitar hero type of. You yeah, got press the button when it comes. Rap of the rapper. And um, shit. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like I, I got stuck on a couple parts where like, I, I didn't, I just didn't know where to go next, you know, but the, <laughs> the game itself, like I beat it and I was like, oh shit, that was it. That was the did end of the game. Did you do the toaster thing? Yeah, I did do that. That was so cool, bro. Yeah. There's like a little, was so little fun. toaster, uh, level that you could find during the game. Um, I was disappointed in that. Like I only, I ended up only finding, I think four hats maybe, um, Five or tops. And I know I've got a pencil. I've got a flower. I've got a watering can. I've got sunglasses. Yes. Um. Um. Later on, you if you if you do finish, um, like a couple of the little side mini quests. Um. One of them gives you a mask that makes you look like the scary beast. It's just black, you know, <laughs> uh, which is kind of I thought was kind of funny. I tried wearing it, like talking to people. They didn't care. Like, you get that. You get that. Uh, draw the scarecrow's face at one point. That yeah, was that cool. was cool. Um. At the very, one of the little uh, side quests, you end up getting a pair of arms, but they literally don't do anything. They just like flap around. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, like, the 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 humor is su it's like the cutest game you've ever seen. The humor is really like witty and charming. Um, I mean, it's very likable. The guy, even just watching him walk, makes me smile. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's what made me want to play it. <laughs> I was like watching him bumble around. And yeah. I was like, I want to play this. Yeah, but it was, it's just a silly, goofy little game. I think it's like ten bucks in the Switch store. I am you know, sure but. I'm within like I don't know ten minutes of completing that game. Oh yeah, I'm like right at the end. I'm already at the lake. Like, uh, oh yeah, there's the little dance part. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I was surprised. Like, it seems like a little tiny kids game, but um. Like the the spider cusses at you and shit. He says like, "Get your own damn self." I was like, "God damn!" <laughs> I love the spider because I just kick him every time I walk by. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's funny. Like, there's no enemies. You can't die. Really, you just you can like restart a level if you're doing yeah. one of the little um, yep. side quests. But nevertheless, cute little game. Um, I mean, if you if spending two hours playing a f little game is worth ten bucks to you, I'd, I'd recommend it. How did you, uh, how did you feel about it? like? I give it a monster bash. Give it a monster bash. Yeah, I'm I've not completed it yet, but I think that's a good grade. Like I think a seven out of ten. I think for like I think for what it is, it's probably a higher grade. I'm comparing it to like everything. But if it was more than ten bucks, yeah. I would say it's not 
but worth it. But I think it's a, a fun, goofy little game you could get lost in for an evening. I think it's really funny. I think it's really charming. Yeah, I, I, there's a lot to like there. Um, I also play. There's a lot of things. Well, I also play Golf Story. Have you played that? No, I have it. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Yeah, it was actually pretty fun. Um, it's. Uh, I never know what to like expect from this because it looks all pixelated, like RPG. Yeah, this game I keep seeing recommended, and I was like, Fine, everybody talks I'll, about it, bro. Yeah, I was like, I'll fucking try it. God, damn, I don't like golf. I, I've never really liked golf games, but the RPG. I don't this, really like golf, but I like golf games. They're yeah, fun. Eh, they're okay. I played the like, Hot Shots and stuff before, but. I like the RPG elements that, and I like the aesthetic. It looks very similar to like Earthbound or something like that, honestly. Right. Um, but uh, the gameplay is it's really like tight and well done. Like I mean, it's super easy to just pick up and play. But it's easy to play, but it is hard to master. Like they do kind of ease you into it. Like all the little you keep talking to people and getting like a new little mission. He wants you to hit the ball from here to over there, but watch out for the wind or watch out for the moles, and you gotta hit the ball close to the hole and like. Whatever, uh, and it actually makes you golf, like do nine holes and shit. Um, but there's all it has a lot of little quirky humor. It's silly. Uh, it's kept my attention so far. I've probably dumped about ten hours into it. Oh shit, that's a lot. Yeah, I, I like it so far. I, I would recommend it if you if you're into RPGs or golf games. Honestly, it's fun. it's a weird combination. Honestly. Yeah, I know it's very weird, but yeah, they do a good job. Like the, the way the story works, like everything revol revolves around golf. There's disc golf in it, and like they talk shit to you because you're a real golfer. Like, they're like, <laughs> you, you play ball golf. They're like, you mean golf? It's like, it's ball golf. We play disc golf. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, this all, looks fun. Yeah, there's all kinds of goofy shit, but I give it a Monster Bash for sure. It looks good. Monster Bash. Um, I look like I'd like this. I try, I downloaded and tried to play uh, When Ski Lifts Go Wrong, and it just would not play. So I got to find nope. a new uh, yeah. copy of that. Um, I did play something else. I can't remember. If you hadn't mentioned Pikaniko, I would have forgot I played it. Yeah, I know. I forgot I about so it, I was so focused on Resident Evil, bro, that like, <laughs> I wouldn't have even... Um, let me look real quick at my downloads. I did download some other ones. I am going to stream Resident Evil. Like, I've played it enough times now, and I'm familiar enough with it that I'm going to do, like, a real casual run. Hell yeah. That'd like, I don't want to do a speed run. Cause, yeah. Like, don't uh, stress yourself out about it. Well, like, I could, I, I could absolutely do a speed run now on standard, probably with no saves. Yeah. Like, in, like, an hour and a half. Hmm. But... I don't really want to. I, I'd rather, I'd rather just enjoy it and make a casual playthrough. I feel you. And now I have a bunch of infinite weapons, infinite ammo weapons. So I think I'd like rather, like maybe I'll do a like kill everything in the game playthrough. <laughs> just find cool. every enemy because I have infinite ammo. Because you're not supposed to do that. Yeah. You're supposed to run by. That'd everything. be fun. Maybe I'll just like run around with my machine gun and just cut everything the fuck down. Yeah. Have some fun with it, bro. Um, I I did try out the Sega Genesis Classics. Did you try that? I did. There's a lot of tight shit on there. I did. I, did. I only played one. First of all, I love the interface. Like when you first load it up, it looks like you're in like a living room. Yeah. Old it has an old all like retro on TV. A shelf. Yep. All the games are on a shelf. You just go next one by one. What's cool is when you select it, it actually puts that game. Them. You can favorite them and it'll separate them into another. Oh, that's dope. I didn't shelf. even notice that. Yeah. But it has Shining Force one and two. It does. Um, I started playing sh which one I I never played, but I knew it was like the predecessor, which it's called Shining in the Darkness. Has it's set in like the same. Uh, setting it's just a different game like the gameplay is kind of similar except for instead of doing like a uh, shining force more strategic team shit like before you go on I um, anyways it's a dungeon crawler it's okay no I was, I was gonna let you carry on but I, I did want to mention that uh, I saw somewhere I think there's a new shining force game out on switch that's that Shining Refrain Resonance. I seen that. But I just thought I, I wanted to mention it to you because I knew you like Shining Force. That's I didn't all. know if it was an actual, it was in the series or not. What I found out, I've, I've Googled, I went down a Shining Force rabbit hole before and like I found that there's several little branch offs that I've never heard of or played. But um, I've played like the main ones, Shining Force 1 and 2, the Sword of Haya. I never played 3. Um, but nevertheless, um, oh, Shining. I just, want, I just want to throw that out there for you. Yes, you thank carry you. On. Um, Shining in the Darkness is on there though. And I tried it and it was just okay. Um, I, it was like a ma dungeon maze, like, you know, you literally turn the corner and it's okay yeah. if you like that kind of shit, but, um, that got me inspired though to bust out the retro arc on there. And I started playing a game I've never played before, which was Dragon Warrior on the NES. I probably played that for an hour <laughs> the other day. I don't know. How it's, was it? it's cool. If you like uh, RPGs, it, it actually, I've never played any Dragon Warrior. I know that they're on like eight or nine and the originals are supposedly classics and yada yada, but it's very, very reminiscent of like Final Fantasy, the old Final Fantasy games, or honestly, the fighting is very similar to like Earthbound. Um, it's 
you can see where like a, it's influenced a lot of games is right. my point you know that's super cool though I, um as far as like a retro rpg goes it was pretty in-depth and cool i did it was you have to really grind at the very beginning to get enough like money to do anything but um i'm almost there yeah <laughs> i mean on the genesis classics uh i played the only game i played was kid chameleon yeah and um uh, because it's got the rewind function i'm like i'm gonna be able to beat this now oh yeah like just because of that because i would never play through that without that function sure it would take forever same yeah but um i was like yeah i'm gonna be able to beat this now and i got through like two or three levels okay. and then i just got stuck and i couldn't figure out where to go really yeah that sucks yeah <laughs> i'll have to look up a guide or something yeah what the fuck it's probably yeah. so stupid i like ran through like three levels and was like ah oh. oh wow and i was having fun with it too it was nice it was cool <laughs> that was a dope fucking game bro yeah kid can be sweet all right i'll have to try that out again um this is uh uh, whatever, Dragon Warrior. It's actually similar looking to Shining Force too. Now that I look at it, but uh, it, you can tell, you can see its influence in a lot of games. I look forward to. I mean, maybe I, I've always wanted to try out maybe the, one of the newer Dragon Warriors or something like that. But you should see. Um, you can see if you, you can get a game called War Groove, which I don't. I've heard. I just looked this game I up the other day. I just saw this the other day, and I just thought this looks so fun. I don't know that it's out. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I know it's coming to Switch. Yeah, the, but it I, looks awesome. I bro. actually watched a trailer on this, and it looks the as far as the fighting like this looks very similar to Shining Force. It looks fun as hell. Bro. Like you get set on a battlefield, you like kind of strategically move your guys around and like uh, use their abilities and shit. It, it looks pretty dope. Like when I saw this, they were talking about like there's like whole like level and campaign editors, and everything's connected, so you can like make wild shit on PC and port it to Switch and yeah, vice versa. Dope. And like this looks so sweet, bro. This does look sweet. I'll, I'll probably try this out. This looks up my alley. Yeah, if you get it, I want that. All right. Oh, yeah, look. That right there looked very similar to Shining Force. Like, as far as... It literally has that same, like, grid that they comes out. They said that out. this was just, like, another game. What was it? Um, Golden Sun? No. Because Golden Sun, is, I think, is, like, the newer versions of Shining Force. It was made by the people that made Fire Emblem. Oh, I think that's similar, too. They said that, basically, like, Fire Emblem took off, so they stopped making the other one, and then just kept making Fire Emblem, and so this is, like... Supposed to like fill that void because everybody wants the other game. Oh. What was it called? Fuck. I don't know. Are you sure it wasn't Golden Sun? Or no, Breath it wasn't of the, Golden uh, Sun. Not Breath of the Wild. Uh, shit. Breath of Fire? No. Those games are fucking sweet too. This is the I don't Fire remember Emblem. what it's called. Oh. But yeah. Those are cute. I guess Fire Emblem took off so they stopped making them. But that game, that War Groove looks fucking great. Bro. Yeah, it does. That shit looks so sweet. I'm definitely into it. Yeah, I want to try it. Uh, I think that's it for as far as, uh, as far as games I've played, though. I would have forgotten Genesis Classics, too, if you hadn't mentioned it. <laughs> My mind's on Resident Evil, bro. I know, man. I did download the Anthem demo, and I didn't even play it. I, don't, I think it's over now, unfortunately. I um, didn't know it was out. Yeah, it was out this past week. I would have played it. I know. Fuck I should have hit you up. Um, I do know uh, there's a new game made by Respawn. Have you heard about that? The Apex? Oh, the new Battle Royale. Yeah. I saw something briefly on it yesterday, but I haven't like looked into it at all so i don't know anything about it yeah let's check it out because i haven't i've only seen like i keep seeing ads and posts about it on reddit but i actually haven't watched anything on it um but it's made by titanfall developers uh, like i said i haven't watched anything on it but the ign headlines at least say that it's supposed to be the next big battle royale oh cool oh I mean, this looks al good bro. already looks sweet yeah, right? this looks good very <laughs> destiny ish already which i love by the way Oh yeah, this looks tight. Bro, this looks pretty fucking good. <laughs> this looks fucking tight. Um was Apex Legends. I'm it's free to when play. It's free to play. I think it just came out yesterday. And they like they just dropped it on people. I don't think they announced it or anything. Like what, is it on like Xbox PlayStation? Is that what we're looking yeah, at? Yeah, I believe so. I'll download it on Xbox if you want to try it. Is it on PC? I don't know, probably. I'd rather do it on PC. Okay, I'll play it on PC with you. Let's see. That looks good, bro. Yeah, it does. That looks tight. Origin. Let's see. It's an origin that lets you link Steam. What? It supports linking to Steam. It's an origin game. So they, they've got their own launcher, but I got Origin too. Steam. All right, yeah. so get it on Origin. Does it require? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm into it, bro. I'll play that. That's dope. I'm we can try that it. out together. All right, cool. That looked tight. Apex Legends. Check it out. That should look good. Um. Okay. Let me double check. Make sure I didn't have anything else I wanted to mention. Oh. Um. Did you see um, after? Oh, first of all, on Super Bowl Sunday, I didn't watch the Super Bowl. Didn't care. 
literally watched. I'm not kidding you. It wasn't good. We watched the Puppy Bowl like five times that day. The fuck is that? It came on all day. It was on uh, on Animal Planet. They have what they've been doing it for like 15 years. They have what's called the Puppy Bowl, which is where they just put a bunch of puppies in like a little pretend like football field that's like the size of this table, and like they just put toys in there and pretend they're playing football, and then like they like, they're the whole point is they're up for adoption. They want people to adopt them. They like swap them out. There's probably like 50 different puppies. They keep swapping them out like over the course of the hour long show. Um, and there's like a ref like goofing off. Like there's like announcers and shit. It's just stupid. It's heavily edited and whatever. Right, bro, look, 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 look. Everybody didn't have to like sports. That's fine. Yeah. I, I, I have no issue with that whatsoever. Okay. I totally understand the Super Bowl is not for everybody. And I mean, <laughs> to be honest, that Super Bowl was not for anyone. Okay. But. The puppy bowl? Are you fucking serious? Right now? Are you fucking kidding <laughs> bro, me? Bro, you know I have three daughters, right? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? You don't have three daughters. You need to fucking make them three sons. <laughs> <laughs> well, we fucking loved watching the puppy bowl, and I was all. I can't imagine having three daughters. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. I got one. She's cool. Yeah, it's it's fun, man. Um, like th- this morning, we literally spent. Uh, She's enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, this morning, Kylie wanted to wake up early. Like she, know, they, Tara knew, usually gets them up around like seven or seven fifteen, and I, she usually wakes me up around the same time. But Kylie wanted to wake up early because she wanted to make her friend a bracelet before school. And Tara's like, oh, I ain't gonna have time to help you out. I was like, just wake me up early. I'll help her do it. So we woke up early this morning, worked on some bracelets. I helped her and Kennedy make bracelets for the uh, for their friends at school. Well, that's pretty fun. So that's kind of shit. Fun shit you get to do when you have daughters. Wake up early, make bracelets. <laughs> yeah, it's my great. daughter yeah. watched me play Resident Evil, and she loves it. <laughs> She's awesome. like, like every time I'm playing, like, because I, I play Claire, that's like my main run. Yeah, and I think it's harder than Leon's, um, which I've seen other people say that Claire's supposed to be easier, but hmm. Claire doesn't get a shotgun, which makes it way harder. Yeah, <laughs> um, but I've been playing Claire, and there's a whole sequence where he plays this little girl Sherry. And my daughter just loves that. Yeah. She loves that I'm the little girl and then the big girl. Like, and I'm switching and we got to save the, the little girl okay. now. And she like, she is so about that. That's awesome. Run, guys, come <laughs> Got to save Sherry. Like, she's there, bro. She's on it. Uh, I can't get, none of my kids will like sit down and watch me play games because all they want, they just play games all day themselves, you know. They don't, Both they don't, my kids like to watch me play games. Yeah, because you don't let them fucking play with your shit. No, they've got their own games, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, they right. like to play their games, but like, they like to stop and like watch me. Yeah. And my son, he so wants to play more games, but he's just like, he can't fucking read. So it's so limited. I know, it's hard. Play. It's, it's super hard. He's like, like I want to play Pokemon. And I'm like, I feel you and you'll love it, but you got to learn to read, yeah, dude. Believe me. I've you had that. can't play this without reading. <laughs> what's, what's incredible is Kennedy plays Roblox. She's five and she's just starting to learn how to read this year. Like she can recognize letters. She knows what sounds they make, but putting them together is still pretty tricky. She's learned a lot just within the past couple months, to be honest. Well, you want to hear how my son gamed me? Yeah, sure. So my son loves Minecraft, right? Okay. He got Minecraft on the tablet. He loves Minecraft. And he always wants me to play Minecraft with him. So usually what me playing Minecraft with him is, is he gives me the tablet. I build something for him yeah. and then he plays with it. So my son schemed on me and he tried to be like yeah mom she built me a house and this that and the other when we were at my, when i was at mom's house i'm like Shh, we gonna outdo mom today right and, Psh, give me give me the tablet and so i built him this big castle all right. and i'm like all right you tell me what your mom builds you the next time he's, and he comes back and he's like mom built me this that and the other and i'm like all right we're gonna build a giant sign that says your name and your favorite colors and, and i'll be putting all this time and making these big i have pictures of it in my phone Making all this big elaborate stuff for him in Minecraft. Have fun, buddy. Tell your mom top. Me. <laughs> and I'm thinking I'm having this really good competition with his mom. And then I talked to his mom the other day and she was like, hey, he wants me to play. I don't know how to play. I don't ever build anything. <laughs> He's been lying to me to get me to build him crazy shit. <laughs> That's funny. He was preying on me. He was telling the mom was doing all this stuff. She wasn't doing any of that. He just knew <laughs> he, he told me that, that That's I'd have funny. to outdo her. Hell yeah. My son schemed on me. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, He's a smart little five-year-old. I was going to say, though, what about reading. Like, Kennedy plays Roblox, and a lot of that you have to read, like, as far as if you want to change your clothes, you got to click the one that says clothes and you got to click this one and this one. But like, it's, it's incredible. Cause I know what she can and can't read, but she'll be like, I'll be like, oh, okay. Why do you have that hair? She's like, oh, okay. Hold on. I'll change my hair. Boop, 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 boop. I'm, I, we have a touchscreen 
computer upstairs for the kids. It's like a big <coughs> touchscreen one, but she usually plays on that one because it's like a big tablet. But I mean, she knows all of it, like exactly what to click. She'll click some shit where it'll like pop up a menu with like ten different word bubbles around it, like emotes and shit. She'll know which one's dab and which one's this and that. Like and like I said, she barely can read, but they just. It's incredible watching because she remembers shit. Because I'll be like looking for the words. She'll be like, find me. The, can you help me find the skin that's like this or whatever? And I'll get on there and start scrolling, looking for the words that's called this. And she'll be like, stop. And like she'll see it because she's not looking at the words. She's looking at the actual pictures. She'll be like, oh, there it is. It's the one that has the yellow stripes. You know, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. But it's, it, it, wild. it's, it's interesting seeing how their little brains work. You know, it's, it's pretty fun. Yeah. Oh. I mean, like. My son, my son trips me out because, like, what, when he first handed me the Minecraft tablet, I went to play it and I couldn't control it. And I yeah. was like, "Why the? F I've played Minecraft a million times. Why can't I control this?" And like, I don't know if the controls were like inverted some kind of way. It was super high sensitivity yeah. or whatever it was. And I was like, "Oh!" <laughs> and so I went in and fixed it, and I started playing like normal. It was fine. And then I realized like, my son has been playing this for like <laughs> a long time, like that. <laughs> like I couldn't play it like that, and he yeah. like he figured out how to get around it. Like he wanted to play Minecraft so bad, he didn't oh, even realize shit. the controls were fucked up. He just found a way to make it work. So when I gave it back to him, he was like, "Oh, this is easy now." Oh, wow. I was like, "Damn, like you're a smart little guy, bro." Because I was confused by that and immediately had to change it. It's incredible how they just figured out. And it man. was wild. Like I, he didn't know that you could put it on creative mode. Okay. He just wants to build stuff. He yeah. didn't care about playing the game. So he was going to go mine and shit. Yeah. And, actually... and so like I like put it on creative mode for him and he like That blue is fucking mine. Holy shit. <laughs> and so now when he goes to start the game, he can't read. Yeah. But he knows which buttons yep. switch the which <laughs> things and like he knows that. Yeah. So yeah, man, yeah. they figure it out quickly. Yeah, it's crazy. It. That's awesome. All right, man. Well um Here, I got a few real quick things. Yeah, go ahead. Um did you see the Metro Exodus Epic Game Store exclusive deal? I read a little bit about it. Um, I don't care because I don't care about the Metro games. I hear they're fun. I just never. never I'm not them. really like I don't care about that. Um, I cared more because of the Epic Steam thing, like just how yeah. they're competing. Um, I don't have any issue with there being another game store, but I don't want. Don't start doing exclusives. Don't start splitting my library up into multiple launchers. I don't want that at all. Yeah, that's like that one game. I want the competition. What was I that? want somebody to push Steam. What was like, that Steam? What was that game we were looking at that was only on Discord? Remember? Oh you yeah, it? some horror game. Yeah. I want that. I forgot about that. I forgot. I like yeah, it. like just put them all. Why do we have to have different programs as platforms when we already have the same hardware? Like, come on, man. Like, I'm know. I'm for the competition, but like, don't make me start doing that. Is it last year, the nightmare? Yeah, I think that is. Let's it. see if it's on anything else yet. That shit looks cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this game looks actually pretty tight. It's thirty bucks on disc. It's on Discord exclusive for some reason. It's fucking weird, bro. Um, but I can't tell. It's like a six player. Or what do you call that? Um, when it's uh asymmetrical, asymmetrical multiplayer. Yeah, it looked pretty cool. Last year, the nightmare. This shit looks sweet. Yeah, I want to play that. But I don't want to buy anything on fucking Discord. Yeah, I feel that. And how big could the player pool really be if they're selling it only on Discord? Yeah, I know. Like that's... I know everybody's got Discord, but how many people are buying games on Discord? I wonder when it makes the leap to um, where everything else. They have to. There's no way that they could make all their money back just on Discord, right? I wouldn't think so. Let's Whatever. Um, all right. What else though? I got two quick hip hop things. All right. First of all, uh. It looks like Takashi Snick Six Nine is is snitching on people in jail, bro. Oh, for real? I mean, I, I don't know. Okay. I don't think any of us know for certain, but it appears that way. His baby's mom like released a video talking about it and shit. So, okay, I have to believe there's some level of validity to it, even though I don't know. Uh, yeah. So yeah, apparently he's in there telling on people to get out of some time. I also saw that with his charge and his age. He would be released if, if he got... I saw that. He would be released when he was 69. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's so funny. That's hilarious. It is. But yeah, he's apparently in there telling on people. I don't know. So I don't like that. Snitches get stitches, bro. I mean, it doesn't really shock me, but... Snitches get yeah. stitches. So there's that. Um, also, the game and Joe Button are beefing. Oh, really? Which Why? They beefed before. They had like one of the best battles of like the 2000 era. Why are they beefing? Joe Budden doesn't even rap anymore. Because the game decided that he was going to release a song talking about fucking Kim Kardashian and Joe Budden's fiance mm. and I don't know, probably some other people. 
Wait, but, he just um, name drops them? I mean, is he talking shit? Yeah, he's talking about how he's like fucking everybody's bitch. Oh. But, um. Why the fuck is then, he going to do that? That's what, what the game why. does. That's what the game does. Uh, game is just talking shit all the time. He's just playing it. I wasn't surprised by this at all. If this was me, I wouldn't have even paid it any mind. <laughs> I would have dismissed that immediately. Like, that's what the game does. But, um. So, yeah, he did that. And then Joe Button basically addressed it on his podcast. Um. But yeah, that I thought that was worth mentioning. Do you think anything's gonna come of it? No, I mean, Joe Budden at one point was like, "Say I'm lying, and I'll release the tape." Oh shit! What I mean, tape? Of him fucking Joe Budden's girl. And Joe Budden was like, <laughs> "You think Game has a tape of him fucking Joe Budden's girl?" No, I think he's just saying that. I think he's trying to sell records. <laughs> but I also think does he have a new album coming out? Or I something? also think like I'm of the belief, and Joe Budden said this when he was addressing it. But I was already of this belief prior to this. First of all, when somebody says something just to get your attention, you shouldn't pay attention to them. Yeah. Like, really? Like, I just dismiss you immediately. Second of all, when, especially when they have a history of doing shit like that, like game. But yeah. second of all, if I'm in a relationship with a chick and then somebody wants to be like, oh, before you got together, this, that, and you, like, I don't care about any of that. Anything you. that happened before we were together is none of my fucking business. Sure, I got you. That is like it doesn't matter how hoish you were, none of that. Like if we if we weren't together, that's not my concern. Okay, I think that's fair enough. I think that's a corny thing to do. What? Like tripping off of who your girl slept with before you? No, I'm with like, you. I fuck agree. Out of here! With I've that never nonsense. cared about since. I've never cared about shit yeah, like that. Yeah, shit. But yeah, I just thought that was worth mentioning, Joe Budden. <laughs> okay. I mean, Joe Budden had a lot to say. He had a lot more to say. But I just thought that was interesting because I like both of those rappers. And I also think they had one of the best hip-hop beefs of ever, really. Hmm. I have nothing to say about that. They're both great rappers. Oh, I seen we got copyright strike for that Boogie song last week. Did we? Mm-hmm. <sighs> I've been thugging since my rainy days. Oh, well, I didn't check it out. Um, all right. Well, you want to take a break? This looks so good, bro. You want to take a break? I yeah. know it does. Yeah, um, we can take a break. Talking about what's it? Apex Legends? Yeah. Um, yeah, let's take a break. We'll come back with our segments and then we'll wrap it up. All right? Cool? All right, folks. Be our back. Peace out. Hey, what's up, friends? Hi. We are back after our sweet, sweet back up in the sweet break. Um, one, one thing I wanted to mention, I know you want to play a song, but I want to talk about this real quick. Okay. Um, I discovered this new service. I'm going to actually try, I think. It's called Caffeine. Have you heard of it? No. Nope. Sounds like uh, something I'd like. It is. I think you would. Um... <laughs> Uh, it's me caffeine no way <laughs> it's called caffeine.tv I discovered it from humble because these people are hosting a um, bundle this week anyways what's cool is it's a streaming app um, similar to twitch or mixer or whatever you know what I mean mm -hmm. but what's interesting about caffeine is number one you can do it through your browser number two it requires like no setup. You download the app that you can download their app or you can do it through OBS if you prefer but you can download their app it's built in and you just literally click start and it starts streaming like whatever game you're playing like it only supports like it only supports 600 or so games but with, which is ever growing but um what's interesting about it and then how obs works already though right obs you I can, just click live and i'm live true but it, obs requires a little bit of setup for people who don't know much about it like as far as setting up the scenes and the shit I suppose. and this also has built in like um and also the viewers um, have you heard of this obscure thing called caffeine? <laughs> um, what's interesting about caffeine is, which my this is my favorite thing and the biggest selling point to me, is the um, the reactions are instant. I mean, like I I hopped on like somebody's stream, just like click next or whatever, and uh, it put me in their stream. I'm within a second of being in there. He's like, "Hey, what's up, Keezy?" And like I was like, oh hey, what game are you playing? He he responded instantly. I mean, there it's was tight. I like no that. fucking delay. I like that. I, it was like on Twitch, everybody's always a little bit behind me. Yeah, it was shocking like how quick it was. I was like, god damn, I would want to do like our show on it if That's I could tight. make it yeah. work. Um, it was like that impressive. I oh, wish it would yeah. let me log in. Um, oh here we go. I'll show you real quick what the stream looks like because I I think you would like it. Um, let's see. Um, whoops. Oh, don't forget, I want to talk to you about an idea for something that I want to do. Okay. I kind of clash related, but not I kind of clash. I have no idea what my password is. Hold on. I say we just move on. All right. Whatever. <laughs> this is taking too much. Um, nevertheless, <clears throat> it's cool. 
I was going to show you what like one of the streams looks like. It's very generic and basic, like as far as if you did just use their platform or whatever. Right. Oh, there you go. So here's here's like somebody's stream. Like if I click this daily broadcast with calf, whatever. Watch, he might even like respond immediately. Oh, it's like muted. <laughs> We're streaming while watching streamers. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. as people like type, it'll show up down here at the bottom. And like you could upvote their posts and like it'll bring more attention to them for like the streamer, which is pretty cool. That's tight. All right, let's see. Let's see what he says. What is he playing? Is he playing this new game that we were just talking about? Um uh, yeah, it looks like it. That's the way it appears. <laughs> we're watching you on my podcast. I said we're watching you on my podcast. Nice voice. Oh, he's like Russian. Really, Kizzy? Hey, hey, how are you doing, man? That was quick. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> yeah, see how quick What's that was? this guy's Kizzy, name? How is your day going so far? Oh, it's going great. Oh, he, he, he can't, can't hear us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going great, man. Well, let's Here. go, guys. Here, I'll, I'll tell. Uh, doing great. <laughs> so, what are your feelings about caffeine so far? Tell me. Um, yeah, no. It's your first time. Tell me. Um, uh, yeah. This is impressive. Uh, I'm, saying, I'm saying it's awesome. I love how quick. It's awesome. It is. That's nice, man. So welcome to the family, first of all. Uh, so have you explained to your viewers everything about caffeine? The no delay, the in-game screen messages, the community. No, I don't know anything about that, buddy. Um, hold on. The no delay is shocking me right now, bro. He is on it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Opa, Kizzy, thank you so much. So check this out, Kizzy. All right, let's see what he says. I'm going to explain you a bit about um, basically the basis of Caffeine TV. So first of all, Here we go. I don't have sponsored to. Sponsored by Caffeine. Uh, for the last 18 months, 19, 20 months uh, on Alpha Face pre-release, they are developing more and more things, um, more supported games, more features, a better software. Where? Uh, <laughs> Who is this guy? Uh, His name's Kaph, so K-A-P-H. quite amazing. Shout out you know, Kaph. Like everyone is supportive. Then, for anyone to broadcast at Caffeine TV, you can do it, especially a podcast. Check this out. You can broadcast to Caffeine TV directly from your browser. So you don't need OBS. You don't need nothing else. Okay. Start up the browser. Select your camera, microphone. Done. Then, if you want to broadcast a game that is actually supported by Caffeine, uh, because they have to support the games for their application actually to run, um, you just need to download the software. On your top right side, you're going to see something saying start broadcasting. You download the software. <laughs> no Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this you, is you know, amazing how quick this start is. Up the app, uh, start up one of the games. <laughs> bam. Five seconds later, you're broadcasting. No delay whatsoever. Your viewers will be able to move the camera. Right now, I'm using the Caffeine OBS. Dude, uh, this is amazing. Like, this is legitimately what? amazing. This is why I wanted to bring it up. I think it's super cool. And uh, I they can close your camera, move all right, your we, camera. All, right. yeah. all the tell messages them, tell them that the viewers will send to you I'll are going to be used on your gaming screen. I don't want to be, be a jerk. But it's super dope, Caf. I mean, check out K A P H on Caffeine. Caffeine.tv. It's super cool. Yeah, like, I don't know, for, for those of you that haven't done streaming before, that is like fucking jaw dropping. Like, it's, shocking. It's scary. That is amazing. It's scary how fast it is. <laughs> I am really super <laughs> impressed by that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Have a good one, Caf, bro. I'm fucking with you. All right, we like it, Caf. Uh, sorry, I, I, I just wanted to show, show yeah. him how quick it was. But look, like, when you're done watching him, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm gonna back yeah, out. Right. But um, you can back out. Like you can see what other people are doing. There's all kinds of people playing all kinds of different shit on here. Bro, that was fucking crazy. Yeah. Like, look, there's some people just randomly playing Fortnite. You could pick if it's like if you're gonna be cussing, you'll put like 17 plus or whatever. Let's see if that guy said. That was fucking nuts, Anyways, bro. Yeah. yeah, let's move on. Check it out. That was fucking crazy. Movie that shit was super tight. I would put it on caffeine. The uh, here's the only reason I've discussed on the show. I would be using OBS right now, honestly. But uh, now that I've seen that, I would honestly be using that, sincerely. The only thing holding me back is I cannot do this fucking table cam on there. That's literally the only thing holding me back. XSplit is the only one that supports the feature I need to, like, 3D tilt the, tilt the, the, the image. I know that's such a stupid thing, but, like, it's to me... Crucial, like, though. This is like how our show started. This is it. Like having this view. You know what I mean? Yeah. With this table. I painted this. Staple. I painted this fucking table because I thought it was a cool idea. And I think it's unique and different. And it makes us neat. All I right. Love it. For Christ's sake, I cannot get rid of the table. I love it, bro. All right. Thank you. So but, for that reason alone, I have not done it. If I can figure out a way to do it in OBS, 
We'd be on caffeine next fucking week, to be honest. I'm with it, bro. That shit was fucking awesome. Yeah, that's super tight. Uh, anyway, did that guy like work for caffeine? It seemed like it. His he name was like, like calf like, yeah. caffeine and shit. Yeah, and his he, name was calf. Well, yeah, I mean, God underscore caffeine. Oh, the creator of caffeine. And, I don't know. He was cool though. Like, yeah, I'll check him out. I, I like that guy. I'll him. check him out later. I like. I'll watch that just because he seemed like a nice guy. Yeah. And I was, I was impressed with the fucking stream. Bro. Like, I just hopped on a couple random ones, and they're like, "Hey, what's up, Keezy? How, how's it going?" Like, I'm just. Yeah, it's pretty neat. That shit is nuts, bro. All right, check it out. Um, what were you? You wanted to talk about something though. Um, Sorry to get sidetracked. No, I was gonna there, say, but... uh, I'm doing a Calizona love tour, and okay. so if you go to itsensbaby dot com, I've got uh, the intro to the Calizona love mixtape um, that I did, okay. and it's featuring my daughter Sky. Oh, I see you posted something. And about so this. I just wanted to share. It's real brief. It's only like a minute and thirty seconds or something. And um, it's featuring Sky. Yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to play that for you guys. All right, here we go. Kelly. <laughs> That's sweet. 2019. <laughs> Miss Mousy, Chris Dyke, the Arizona Love Tour. Put that shit to rest because I'm going, going back, back to California next. This the Calizona Love State. Find me with the rest reduction surgery, which means it's time to get it off my chest, bitch. Bar for bar, I want to hit the bar with Trent Stark. We nasty, nice and naughty, not me. The Misfit Royal Team, McNasty, Dice and Abby, hella props, ho. Not a movie set. Killing every stage until we leave, and that shit ruby red. Ain't too many dropping throwaways the way I do this shit. It's like I'm taking garbage out that's gutter when I do it, bitch. Popping like a Ruger is. Rock it without shooting shit. We finna get a Around the west coast like a rumor bitch fucking up a city near you like it could use some dick haters get the boot like we starting up computers bitch four shows four cities four days two states it's for you <laughs> for us five groups that's two flames it's cali zona <laughs> it sweet. says baby gear yeah. all right you did a good job uh, can i have some candy <laughs> she really just said that like naturally <laughs> i leaned in like yeah, she got awesome. done saying all the things i need her said so she butchered everybody's names which yeah. i thought was cute and adorable she's like, i did what you asked yeah. now i get my and reward she, <laughs> I, get, I give her a kiss and she got a lot of that grunt. Ugh. can i have some candy <laughs> that's yeah, awesome you can have some candy that's sweet yeah well, good job man that's yeah, pretty so cool i just wanted to share that with you oh yeah thanks yeah all right man what segment you want to start with um you just want to get the joker out of the way yeah let's do it all right, this is probably gonna be brief. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to give. I don't want to give. I'm the, not deep diving. It's like a. Uh, it's here. I'll bring it up. Um. So this week's throwback spotlight, we're doing the, the Joker. Cover? Yep, I have it. Okay. I just I have to do it this old school way. Um, we're doing the Joker. Welcome to the show. <laughs> look at his stupid ass fucking face. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> he uh, looks fucking ridiculous, so bro. <laughs> it's a moral. I have a moral dilemma because. I have a love hate. I, re I have a love hate relationship with the Joker. It's much, much, much more hate. Are they seeing the white box? No. Okay. Um, it's a much, much, much more hate. But um, I picked this album because I genuinely like it. I actually had listened to it again before I I recommended it because I was like, let me remember. Let me see if it was as good as I remember it. That, you know, granted, it was only like five or six years ago, probably that I last listened to it, but. Um, so I listened to it again. I was like, this shit is still pretty dope. I'm going to recommend it. I'm going to see if ends will actually find some kind of redeeming quality about the Joker. Because I have thoughts. As you know, we've been discussing the Joker um, on our show uh, for a while, for the past few weeks especially. He's been a big part. And it's been a moral dilemma with me because while you know it is a love-hate relationship, I do want to shit on the Joker a lot. I also don't want to dedicate a lot of my fucking show to him. He doesn't deserve it, to be quite honest. I like bashing people. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sit around and talk shit all fucking day, bro. I like it to an extent, but... And he should like it. I want it to be clear. I know our show is called Iconoclash, and we're about clashing, and we're about stuff like that. But I find our shows more about bringing each other closer together, I, uh, as ironically as it may have become. Because th this album I knew was not going to bring us closer together, by the way. I knew you were going to hate this, but it's okay. You I haven't heard my opinions, I bro. know. <laughs> I, I, I know how I feel about the album, and I know there's some songs that I really, really like. I listened to this album again just today just to make sure it was fresh in my mind, and I still really appreciated a lot of it. And it, all it does, though, is makes, it kind of makes me sad because... I, he was such a douche rag that he fucking <laughs> ruined that for you. 
Yeah, yeah. honestly. Yeah. It, that's, I understand. That's number one. But number two... I feel that way about Kanye all the time, bro. I also feel like Joker kind of like blew his load like in one album. Like he, it, it was almost as if from the time he was a little child, obviously a juggalo, growing up as a juggalo, wanting to become an ICP like we all did. You know what I mean? That's why I started rapping and that's why a lot of people I know did it for what it's worth. So he was, he came up similarly and I can, I understand the, you know, how that happened. The issue is he probably spent his entire teenage years, childhood, early twenties, whatever, building up this Joker persona, the gimmick writing. It, he, he wrote like a graphic novel. He has fucking posters and p- paintings, like all kinds of crazy lore related shit for the Joker. And he like, put it all out there on this fucking album like the seven tracks he put like i mean it, to me it's a great display of what he was trying to do if he was trying to create his gimmick show it off and make it seem like he was creating an in-depth world essentially with his music his i think this album does a really good job of doing that so for that reason that's why i, I picked it the problem is Every single thing he's done after this album, these seven tracks specifically, six of them, if I'm being completely honest, because one of them is not good, that good either. But um, it's like he completely just dropped the whole gimmick and plan and storyline and everything after this. He just abandoned the blueprint. He really did. He came, Right after this album, he re-released it with the, uh, the extra tracks. I'm going to grab a Red Bull. I'm All listening. Right. He re-released it with the extra tracks, and then he released the video Forever Before, which I think is the Joker's best song and best video. It's fucking great. I, I just, well, I've watched that like four times in the past week. I still think it's fucking sweet, to be quite honest. And that's not on this album. So... He came off so hot off of this album, in my eyes. It was He was so hot, he dropped ever before, and I was like, fuck yeah, man. Maybe the Joker is it. Maybe he is the one. Like He's going to be the next fucking dude I, I look forward to buying an album or, from and buying a ticket to go see. Maybe he is it, you know? I had very high hopes at that moment, and then we all know what happened after. So, nevertheless, that's kind of a little bit more about my feelings and backstory as far as this album in particular goes. Um, here's the issue though with this guy. I try to make it easy for him to listen to these albums. I finding on YouTube's obviously I overachieved. Finding on YouTube's obviously the easiest for him, and that's why I try to find the shit on YouTube and give it to him or put it all up. Nevertheless, Joker's released two versions of this album. One, the the original version has seven tracks. This was his debut album. It was called Welcome to the Show. Then. He re-released it with like 14 tracks, like a year later. Still called Welcome to the Show, but it has extra tracks and like a couple. I think a couple tracks switched around. Maybe even one is omitted in the newer one. Um, but that's the one this this guy listened to. I put it in the Google Drive. We share a Google Drive. I put it in there. I told you it's on Plex, and you fucking can't find it on YouTube. So you listen. He listened to the bullshit. No, I, I found one. it on YouTube. I just listened to the full one. He listens to the bullshit one. Which is not the one I intended for him to listen to. So, I think his opinion is going to be a little skewed for that reason. Not only for that, obviously, that plus the oh, obvious hatred that we share for the Joker. That's just going to skew it a little bit too. But All right, so, I look. can listen to it from a musical standpoint alone. That's kind of what I w- I'm interested in, your opinion. Look. Do you want me to so, grade it first? Go for it. I'm giving it an 8. Okay. I think it's great. I still think it's really fucking good. Um, I have some standout tracks we'll talk about, but I do want to hear your opinion. Right, so before we go any further, I want to be very clear that my dedication to the show and our integrity is more important than my hatred for the Joker. And for that reason, and I'm, I appreciate going to be, that. I'm going to be very fair. I am not going to bash him for the sake of bashing him. I appreciate that. I'm going to be very honest okay. as I am with everything else. And I'm not going to blindly hate on him. Okay. Oh, let me bring I'm going to give you my genuine opinion as best I can as if I didn't have any feelings about him outside of just listening to this. Okay. I, genuinely. All right. Now, I listen to this. This is clearly not for me. Okay. This is the one you listen to, by the way. Oh, here, I can bring this one. Clearly not for me. This okay. is absolutely, like, if we took all the Joker stuff aside, 
nobody nobody would have expected me to love this. Okay. Okay. Um, and I didn't. Spoiler. I know. Um, but <laughs> there were redeeming qualities. Okay. Uh, mainly, I think his production is very nice. Yeah. And typically, I wouldn't credit credit an artist with that, but I'm under the impression that he's doing the production. I believe he does. And, and one of the songs he does say, someone. Taurus Scott, whoever that is, says he's like, if you if it so pleases you, sir, you can rip it. And he like gives him a beat. When I, when I'm talking about production, I'm also talking about mixing, yeah, and mastering, sure. not just the beats. So the for for production value, this is very polished. Okay. And for that, I will give him credit because I'm under the impression that he had a heavy hand in that at the very least, yeah. if not doing all of it. So credit due. Sure. That being said, I think it can flow. Mm-hmm. He can stay on beat, and he can hit, and he can go all fast, and all that shit. I don't think he says shit. Have you ever, like, before listening to this, had you ever really given him the time of day? I think I'm fairly certain that people have played him for me before. Okay. But when I was listening to him, I didn't really recall any of it, so it was kind of like the first time. I got you. Um, Just curious. <clears throat> he can flow. He can okay. hit in all the right spots and all that, and he can do the fast shit and all that. He doesn't say shit. I don't yeah. think his bars. I, there was no point where his bars impressed me. He has some pretty he, decent punchlines and shit, like some creative yeah, the shit. The best, the best punchline I heard, like the best little scheme that I heard, is he had on one of the songs. I, I think it was the one that I liked the most, which was like the "I'm from the dungeon" or whatever it is. I, uh, came from the dungeon, wandering dark ages, something pages. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't a big fan of that either. <laughs> um, but that was the Joker's that was pain, the best. I think. I thought that was the best. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Um, I think that was the best song on the album. Okay. Um, I, I agree. I actually, that song is, I think it's it's a great like introduction song. Like as far as like setting out his like storyline and shit mm-hmm. too. Well, um, like the best scheme that I heard in the whole album was about him taking a shit and making everybody abandon the mall or something. It was not real impressed. It was okay. like the highlight and I was like, eh. Um, okay. Like I said, he can rap. I don't think his bars are written well. He obviously spent a lot more time on the story arc and the theatrical aspect of it than he did writing the raps. Mm. And like he's on there talking about how he's like the sickest rapper ever. And I just have issue with that. Um, Like obviously your bars came secondary to everything else so like don't miss me with that bullshit i could see that i mean he his raps i i, I do kind of i do like a lot of his punch lines and like he's some punching of the shit he bitches um uh, <laughs> he punches a bitch on the album does he I'm like why are you crying and he punches her i don't remember that yeah that was corny um, um i i do think that everything about this says that he really wanted to have ICP's content with Tech Nine style, mm. like it was very obvious. That's a good. He uh, didn't even veil it. Like, it, yeah. it, he wasn't even trying to hide it. He was trying to be Tech Nine meets ICP, and he was trying to run that lane. And it came off as not really knowing who you want to be. My problem, like on, honestly, if you want to be Tech Nine meets ICP, you should just be Tech Nine because he's kind of that already. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he's a white version of that, but he had to have the Joker gimmick to put him over the edge. Yeah. Um, here's my here's a couple of my beefs with the album. Number one, he does a lot of like, like shit talking to people that like haters. Like, and this is his first album. Like, I mean, whoa, 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 whoa! In his defense, in his defense, <laughs> look at that guy right there. <laughs> He had lots of haters before his first uh, album, bro. Yeah, may, I mean, you might. He be was right. getting picked on all the time. Maybe um, he's a walking target. My other issue, which you didn't hear this part, but there's a part of the album, and I didn't remember this until I listened to it the um, second time. This actually is. There's an outro track called um, that you didn't listen to, called "A Whole Other Story," and um, I want to play you one part of it. It's kind of like a. It's just a. It's shit talking like outro song, you know, like. Pretty generic, but it sounds cool. Because he's gonna see it and flag us intentionally. <laughs> well, I, I wanted, I wanted to play you this part. He's Hold got on. a little corny Joker rap voice on. Yeah. Arr. Oh, and this song he's he, like a fucking pirate. Bro. This song he literally calls himself. He says, "You're now listening to the undisputed Sultan of the Underground." <laughs> Yeah, I'm not into it. Um. <laughs> oh, and the, besides that, he has this egregious part where he's like, he's like, it's like, um, well, 
It says like, welcome to the show, which by the way, welcome to the show. ICP already has a song called welcome to the show, which came out way before this. So it's kind of weird. Um, he, in this song, he literally says the mystical, magical, great, dark, whoa, instead of like great, dark carnival. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that was like actual ICP lyric, mystical, magical, great, dark carnival. Yeah. He said he like makes a line, like making fun of ICP essentially. Yes, sir. This isn't a gimmick. This isn't a game. It's both. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Here we go. Hold on. Here, here we go. See, that's just gay. So, anyway, bro, this is like. <laughs> I think I think that he was trying to be ICP at Tech Nine. I think he was not as good at being ICP and not as good at being Tech Nine. Okay. <laughs> like I he was an that. imitator in every sense. He was never as good as the original. I also think that he has and again maybe you, you said that this is not so much prevalent on the E P version as it is the L P version, but bro, like half the fucking album he is trying to fucking sing Disney songs. Yeah, that's, that's like like they sound like fucking like shitty Disney songs. That's what they sound like. So they're they're the, not good. So the two versions of the album, um, the the newer version that he made, the fir- the original version has seven songs. A lot of crooning. Yeah, the original version has seven songs. One of them being that outro song that you can hardly call a song. Um, six full songs. Um, the LP version has like fourteen, and he literally just tacked on like a bunch of songs to the end. Where he's singing in every single fucking one of them. And he is not that great of a fucking singer. Um, To give you an example, here, I'm actually going to play you a little portion of one, just so you can hear. This is more rappy than it gets. It gets more Disney. Yeah. It gets more Disney than this. I know. Yeah, um, bro. Like, like, I, I'm gonna be very honest. Like, it kind of doesn't shock me because if I see a guy that looks like that, and I, I, I again am against judging people off of their appearance. Like, if you want to fucking dress like a court jester, bro, do your thing. But um, that guy looks like he has an identity crisis, <laughs> and his okay. music sounds like it. Okay, he can't decide if he wants to be ICP or Tech Nine or fucking. Ariel, like, I mean, it seems he doesn't like he, know what he's doing. It seems like he tried really hard to, like, come out the gate with his own, like, full-on thing, which, honestly, like, I appreciate the effort. I really do. Like, I, I love it when people, like, try to carve their own niche and go for it. The issue is that, like, when you do that and people appreciate it, and then you completely, like, renege on everything and just make everything else about battling and being the best and shit, like... Like, what the fuck were you thinking when you come out the gate trying to get fans in a certain way? And it's, it's just kind of a weird, like... I mean, it's a valid argument. Like, it's if a weird got slap a whole, in the like, face. If you got a whole character you've created and then you abandon that for the sake of battle raps, like, that, you're doing a totally different thing. And yeah. That's, that's absolutely valid. Like, it just kills me because, like, he's not writing good enough bars to be taken seriously as a rapper. Okay. Like, aside from the whole Joker, Jester thing. Yeah. Like... Your bars aren't good enough for, like, people didn't know what the fuck they're talking about to take you serious as a rapper. So then you got the gimmick. Except for, like, if you're doing the gimmick, like, you don't do it as good as the guys you stole the gimmick from. Yeah. So it's like, you're kind of doing a lot, not really great at any of it. Let's say this, though. Do you think... And it's not terrible. Like, this wasn't the worst album I ever fucking heard. It was fine. Do you like, think as far as underground rappers go, like, he's better than most? No. <laughs> Are you kidding? No. I know a million and one fucking rappers that can flow that okay, don't say shit. Let me let me backtrack. And most of them I like as people. All right, let me backtrack. As far as Juggalo rappers, I mean, not. Uh, I think his production <laughs> value probably put sets him apart. Okay, I can but see like, that. But like, I think he's got the same rah, 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 voice yeah. and all that. Like Juggalos, why do they all rap in that voice, bro? Why do know. they do that? I'm trying to think if I did. I know a lot of dope <laughs> Juggalo rappers. Be, rah, 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 and I'm yeah. like, why are you rapping like that, bro? Like you don't sound like that any other time. That is kind of weird. And it's not like you're like, oh, well, I'm creating a character or that's the voice. Like, you all do it. You're not different than anybody else. They all fucking do it. 
Yeah. Why? Why do we have to sound like rah? That is weird. I just, I don't, I'm point. not into it, but like. It's kind of like DJs doing the DJ voice. To his credit, the production value was not terrible. It was it was impressive. The okay. production was like the ex- execution of like piecing his ideas together and the acting, and he has singers on there and fucking, yeah. which I like that shit too. I thought it was well done. And he's woven all that together. It and doesn't that sound part cheap. Is, it that part's all done well. It doesn't sound cheaply made or no, like amateur. Well. It sounds super professional, which is really cool. But um, I will say the so the track the the I don't seven think his rapping is anything to write home about. The first track is "Welcome to the Show." That's like the intro track. It's fine. Um, the second track, "The Joker's Pain," is probably the best, like, well-made song on the album. I'd say it's super like deep. It tells a story. He flows on it. Whatever. Then like you got shit like right here. Off alone. Um, this "Here I Am" song in the background and "I Don't Fit In." I think are the other two like standout songs on there. I think he's right. I definitely don't don't think he fits in. <laughs> so well, um, who the fuck am I to say shit? I'm a misfit, bro. Well, all right, other. If you can try to avoid, if you could just grade it on tracks one through six here. I mean, I I don't remember where the <laughs> what I heard. What I all of the know. don't grade on any of the singing songs, just on the rapping it's, songs. Uh, the problem is, if you take the five best songs or the five rapping songs or whatever, it's not going to change my opinion of the album. Why not? Because I think it's all the same. Okay. Like, I'm, I'll give it a, I'll give it a five. Okay. The production was good. The rest <laughs> of it didn't impress me. Fair enough. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't awful. I don't like you. I think you're a piece of shit. I'll beat you up. <laughs> Come see me. But outside of that, like, I'm just not into it. All right, Joker. Like, that's not, a, I'm not into it, bro. Joker, that's about as much attention as you're going to fucking get on this show, as far as I'm concerned. So, thanks. I'll talk about you every day. I don't fuck. <laughs> all right, man. What's I'll, next? I'll talk about you all the time. What do you want to do? All right. So, for next week's throwback spotlight. Oh, yeah. You've inspired me to make you listen to a very popular album at the time, but it's my... You're going to hate it. I'm sorry, but fuck you. You made me listen to a bunch of dumb <laughs> shit. We're listening to Kanye West's 808s and Heartbreak. <laughs> okay. Which is... Has that been out for 10 years? I'm sure it has. Okay. I mean, you can look it up and Before make sure, that. but I'm sure it has. But that is one of my favorite albums ever. Ever, ever, ever. Okay. It's far and away the least rapping he's ever done. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. It's all singing. It's okay. all autotune. The whole album's autotune. Okay. But that album is so fucking good, bro. <laughs> It is so fucking good. 2008. Yeah, to be fair, gonna... there is one song on there. I think it's RoboCop. Okay. That sounds like a Joker song. Oh, really? I mean, it sounds like a Disney song the whole time. <laughs> it sounds like... A, every time I listen to this album, like the song sounds like a fucking Disney song. Okay. But the rest of the fucking album is so good, bro. Right. Pay attention to the words when you listen to it. Like, really hear what he's saying. Because it's all like, heartbroken, we broke up. We I'm sad. actually going to go through the effort to make sure I get the proper version but and like, everything when I go to listen to it. You absolutely should. But when you do that... Really listen to the words because, like, he's not rapping crazy, but everything's impactful. Everything has meaning. He's saying powerful shit. It moves me. Okay. Like, it touches my soul, bro. I love this album. Okay. You got it. I'll check All it right. out. Kanye West, 808s and Heartbreak. All right, man. What do you want to do next? Let's fucking raise some fucking bars, bro. All right. Let's do it. Let me get it ready here. <clears throat> I got good bars. Yo. These words cut deep like scars. You're now tuned in to the motherfucking bridge the bars. <laughs> All right. All right. Comments ain't working. I'll fix it. Who's going first? Um, whoever. I think I might have made six again. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know why that one ain't loading. I can start and finish. I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> Do it. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, why ain't this one working? Let's see. There right, we go. Radness of warriors, jewelry store, gory whores, blood and lovely, wolf gang, coyote ugly. I'm a wild animal, bitch. I can't be tamed or identified or better even named. Jewelry store, gory whores, bloody and lovely, wolf gang, coyote ugly. I'm a wild animal, bitch. I can't be tamed or identified or better even named. This is all right. I'm guessing this is somebody from Odd Future. It's not like crazy or anything, but it's got it seems odd futurish. Um, I gave it a six. It's cool. This is a song called "I Got a Gun" from an artist named Mellow Hype. Mellow Hype. That's Haji Beats and um, the other fucking guy from Mellow Hype. <laughs> they're Never both from they're them. both from Odd Future. Oh, okay. You picked that out. That's pretty yeah. good, man. Wolfgang. Ah, oh, okay. Odd Future is um, 
uh, future Wolfgang Kill 'em All. Oh, I didn't know that. So okay. when I saw Wolfgang, I knew. But Haji Beats is my favorite member, so like that doesn't surprise me at okay. all. Okay. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Flo is in the microwave. Call it Michael Tyson Flo. Killing is a dirty job. Michael Myers, Michael Rowe. Bring it back like Michael Fox. See how far the Michaels go. I feel like I'm Michael Crichton writing with a microphone. That's pretty dope. I like that. Michael Tyson flow. Killing is a dirty job. Michael Myers, Michael Rowe. Bring it back like Michael Fox. See how far the Michaels go. I feel like I'm Michael Crichton writing with a microphone. That's dope. No, just, just, just <laughs> microphone is another mic. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty dope. Um, when I, I li- caught that, I was like, oh, that shit is tight. This is very dope. I'll give this a uh, 8.5. I, I like it a lot. I think that's fair. This is Lupe Fiasco mm. from Joaquin Phoenix. That's mm. the name of the song. Dope. Yeah, that's a really good one. I mean, you could just tell, like, whoever Lupe, you know, when he wrote that, like, you could tell it's, like, someone tight. He's a you fucking know? genius, bro. <laughs> I'm n- I still haven't listened to him. I should- he's one of the best rappers. He's one of the five best, most talented skill oriented rappers i've ever heard in my life let me put him on my list dude is fucking crazy bro listen to the album the cool you'll like that the cool yeah it's not my favorite album but okay. you'll like that one that will cater to your interests all right okay we gotta go back because i fucked it up all right here you go the coyote summon a ghost of blown diodes open and moving like a luchador with no eye holes Fried when a pipes froze, life goes, Lovecraft, Christ pose, sitting on invisible ha- hubcaps up. I don't know Does why. Does he say coyotes or coyotes? I don't know. I'm guessing I, coyotes. I, I would have said coyotes, but I'm thinking it says coyotes. It, it's probably coyotes. The coyotes summon a ghost of blown diodes, open and moving like a luchador with no eye holes. Fried when a pipes froze, life goes, Lovecraft, Christ pose, sitting on invisible hubcaps up. This is pretty tight, bro. <laughs> I don't know what the up is at the end, but I, I probably running together or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. This is pretty tight, bro. Um, seven point five. I like it. I, my favorite is the Christ pose. Like, <laughs> like, I mean, who throws that? I in? like the open and moving like a luchador with no eye holes. Like, <laughs> uh, this is Aesop Rock. That doesn't surprise me. Song called Defender. I think he's a sweet rapper. Okay. I don't really like his music, but I, every time I hear. Like him, I'm like, yeah, you can rap though. I've never checked. Like you're out. nice with the fucking mic though. Okay. I existed in the Garden of Eden, getting lifted, sticking dick to Eve before she was Adam's mistress. Before Christ created Christmas, I've been in lyrical fitness. I'll be spitting till I'm spitless. I existed in the Garden of Eden, get in the Garden of Eden, getting lifted, sticking dick to Eve before she was Adam's mistress. Those two lines are super dope. Before Christ created Christmas, I've been in lyrical fitness. I'll be spitting till I'm spitless. Before you go any further, that last <laughs> bar, I adjusted. It said a name in it. Okay. It said the artist's name. Okay. So and so be spitting until he's spitless okay. or whatever. I adjusted it so that you wouldn't know who it you was. Should've put, you should have wrote like blankety blank. Full disclaimer. That way I have the um, cadence. I mean, All right. you would have had to know how many syllables the name was and things okay. to get yeah. it just right. So just full disclaimer. The last bar has been adjusted to hide the artist's right, name. Let's, let's try it again. I existed in the Garden of Eden getting lifted, sticking dick to E before she was Adam's mistress. Before Christ created Christmas, I've been in lyrical fitness. Blankety blank blank. I'll be spitting till I'm spitless. Like that, right? Something to that effect. <laughs> okay. I just didn't want you to downgrade it because maybe the last one doesn't flow right or whatever. And I adjusted it for the sake of anonymity. Okay. Um, I'll give I like this a lot I'll also give this an 8.5 I think that's fair This is cannabis Oh dope Beasts from the east Okay He's got this whole verse There's like so many Different sections I could have quoted Okay But I liked Adam and Eve thing So much that I had to use it I But there's a whole bunch Of it just like that Cannabis you know cannabis yeah. You know how he is You know I have yet to, I think I have yet to Give out a 10 Like I, I just I haven't I don't know what the bar is You know There are things that I would Have given a 10 to But I've given yeah. them to you Okay <laughs> Yeah. And I've chosen them trying to get you to give a 10. I want to find like the per- the undeniable. I One that I don't have to think about. Like, that's a fucking 10. I've you been know? pretty close, bro. I've considered it at times, but I, I'm just like waiting for that one that teeters me over the edge. I think I've given a couple nines. All right. <clears throat> All right. Good one. I like that a lot. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the money is the motive. Fuck with the money. It get ugly as coyote. Okay, I'm reloaded. Better pull it off if you towed it. I buy a pound, break it down, and put it in a stogie. This shit is tight as fuck, bro. I love this. Why are all the coyote lines? Where is that coming from, bro? Like, that's obviously a thing, but, like, I don't know why. 
Uh, Because after the puppy bowl on Sunday, there was a Coyote Peterson special on Animal Planet. (laughs) I just wanted to talk. I have a reason to talk about it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the money is the motive. Fuck with the money. It get ugly as coyote. Okay, I'm reloaded. Better pull it off if you told it. I buy a pound, break it down, and put it in a stogie. That shit is sweet as fuck. I'm, I know that this is nothing super crazy, but it's smooth as fuck. It goes together well. This is well written. And because it's so smooth and well written, I'm going to give it an 8.5. Okay. You know, when I, when I picked this, I was even like, I don't find this very impressive. I picked it because I had Coyote, but I literally picked it because I knew you would like it. I like this, bro. This is sweet as shit. This is Lil Wayne. I knew you would like it. Yeah, sweet as shit, bro. (laughs) It's called We Be Steady Mobbin'. We be steady mobbing. You know okay, the song? I love that. I can't believe I wouldn't. Uh, I guess the not knowing like the beat and the mm-hmm. sound or whatever, I'm just rapping it the way I would, you know what I'm saying? I love that song, so I should have known it. Okay. Yeah, money is the motive. <laughs> yeah, I got it, bro. Like, right. now I'm hearing it, now that, that I know. Maybe that's why it, like, it just kind of rung a little bell back It didn't. There. I would have never guessed that. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. Did I skip one? No, nope, that was it. Okay. I'm at the top of my game, though. Got my chain glow. Like I found the gold at the end of the rainbow. I heard your girl take five, then take five, then take five mo. Like Jackie, Tito, Marlon, Michael, and Jermaine, though. And that's your main hoe? <laughs> that's funny. I get it. All right. I'm at the top of my game, though. Got my chain glow. Like I found the gold at the end of the rainbow. I heard your girl take five, then take five, then take five mo. Like Jackie, Tito, Marlon, Michael, and Jermaine, though. And that's your main hoe. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty, pretty ice cold. Um, it's pretty dope. It's it's nothing like super like. I mean, I could have wrote this. You know what I mean? It's nothing crazy. I I like I love um, chain glow rhyming rhyming with rainbow. It just sounds so good. Putting rainbow in a rap, I think it's cool. Like <laughs> it just sounds cool. But I'll give this a seven. Nothing crazy great, but I think it's pretty dope. This is uh, King Los, and he's just spazzing. Like, it's just a okay. long verse of him just talking shit. So, like, I don't know that any of it means anything too much more than him just saying cool shit. Okay. Bro, I was just thinking while you were doing that, like, mm-hmm. it's a good thing that we do these things anonymously. Because, like, that last one, if I had known it was Lil Wayne, I probably would have given it a nine. Because I was, like, teetering yeah. on nine. <laughs> I was, like, as I was building up to it, I'm like, what am I giving this? And I'm giving my little speech, and 8.5. Okay. And I would have given it a nine had I known it was Wayne. So, it's good that we do it yeah. anonymously. Like, yeah, you have to. It's got to be unbiased. Yeah, it's more fair that way. It's just the bars. They speak for themselves. That shit's sweet, though. All right, go ahead. Rappers that you think's dope, we poke fun at. But don't come at me wrong, homie. You don't want it. These coyote dudes too slow for this road runner. 357, throat fucking, you choke on it. Ooh. Ooh. (laughs) Rappers that you think's dope, we poke fun at. But don't come at me wrong, homie. You don't want it. These coyote dudes too slow for this road runner. 357 throat fucking you choke on oh, it. I feel like this is something I could have wrote, bro. Shit is kind of sweet. I really like the first two rappers that you think's dope. We poke fun at, but don't come at me wrong, homie. You don't want it. Like, just as a rapper, I feel that, bro. Like, I feel <laughs> that in my soul. This is pretty good, bro. Eight. Okay. This is Ritz. Song called Say No More. Dude, I think Ritz is such a good rapper, but I think all songs sound the same. Really? I've never listened to a Ritz song. Isn't he on Strange? Yeah. Okay. I like listen to his White Jesus album and it was like real fucking dope, but like it was like it was like Bone Thugs. Like okay. after like three or four, like I feel like I heard them all. Like yeah, it's the same you. thing. Yeah, I, li- I like this. The throat yeah, fucking that shit you. is pretty uh. sweet, bro. That's that- sh- well, I mean the like the the last two are the ones that are like attention grabbing, yeah. but I like the first two more just as a rapper. Like Yeah. I feel it. All right. <clears throat> a positive ID is impossible, so you know. John Doe is what they gonna be putting on the tag on your toe. Now who gonna tell your mother her baby's under recover in the morgue stiff as a log sniffed out by the dogs? Hmm, okay. Let me read this again. A positive ID is impossible, so you know. John Doe is what they're gonna be putting on the tag on your toe. Now who gonna tell your mother her baby's under recover in the morgue stiff as a log sniffed out by the dogs? Oh, that's some nice gold shit, too. Just makes you, like, when you read it, you're just like, oh, There's man. a reason I chose this, Whew. but I'll get to it when you're done. Like, why do you write that? Why is he so mad? um i think this is good nothing it doesn't like speak to me you know it doesn't like i don't think it rolls off the tongue as good as like something i would give like a nine or a ten so for that reason i'll I'll grade it good but i I can't give it i don't think it's as good as some of the other stuff you've given me i'll give this one a 7.5 that's fair this is dmx okay i should have known it's from a song it's it's a song called niggas done started something all right and 
The reason I chose this specifically, because I was going to choose something else. Yeah. I picked this because I really like it. But I I had to like look at it and really figure out why I like it so much. And it's because the scheme is so unorthodox. Mm, okay. And obviously DMX makes it sound real smooth or whatever, but... A positive idea is impossible. So you know, John Doe is what they're going to be putting on that tag on your toe. So now who going to tell your mother her baby's under recover in the morgue? Sniff in the morgue. Sniff as a log. Sniffed out by the dogs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Very DMX. It's not like, in it's not written. Sniffed log. Sniffed out by the dogs. It's not real like ABAB. -A -B you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it's real intricate. And yeah, like, I got you. For as simple as he seems, he's writing complex shit, and people don't really catch that about DMX. He's just got a very unique style. Like no one raps like DMX. You know, you it's can fucking great. <laughs> All right, but I really liked it, but I think I think a seven point five is fair. That's okay. fair. All right, that's a good grade. There you go. All right, ritual coyote gang popping shit like guns bang, reblog our shit like insane. Our flow makes you say, oh dang. Fucking with a pentagram, I'm your sacrificial lamb. Smoke this shit, I got a gram. Gucci hoochie fucking glam. Why is it spelled like that? I don't know. I'm guessing that's what they're trying to say, though. <laughs> I know. Believe me, I know. Ritual coyote gang popping shit like guns bang. Reblog our shit like insane. Our flow makes you say, oh, dang. Fucking with a pentagram, I'm your sacrificial lamb. Smoke this shit, I got a gram. Gucci hoochie fucking glam. <laughs> Five. This is like I don't even know if I, I don't even know if a five. It, I'm gonna reevaluate my grade here. It's so like that da 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 da. da. Mm -hmm. Like there's internal rhymes, but they're still kind of da 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 da. And they're not really saying anything. They're I feel like with the fucking with a pentagram, I'm your sacrificial lamb. They're trying to get real lyrical and crazy, but it's not really that lyrical and crazy. It's not like terrible. It's fine. It's just it doesn't impress me. Okay, I'll give it a five. I'll okay, give it a five. This is, uh, I literally just picked this because of what the song is called. The song is called Ghetto Ass Witch. <laughs> <laughs> By a, a rap, I'm guessing a rapper, fe I'm assuming female rapper named Rituals with a Z. I know nothing about it. This is not impress me. <laughs> well, right, there you have it. <laughs> Can't all be winners. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it goes. Fuck it. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's fair enough. I thought that shit was garbage too, man. Yeah, so. I was not impressed, bro. Um, all right. <laughs> I remember watching Scarface the first time. Look at that big house that Porsche paid for, my, for by crime. How could I sell this poison to my peoples in my mind? They dumb and destroy themselves. That's how I rationalize. All right. That's some real shit. I remember watching Scarface the first time. Look at that big house that Porsche paid for by crime. How could I sell this poison to my peoples in my mind? They dumb and destroy themselves. That's how I rationalize. Those last two lines are pretty dope. That's obviously why I chose it. Um, let's see. How can I sell this poison to my peoples in my mind? They dumb and destroy themselves. This is how I rationalize. Like, I don't know. I wish I knew what he was trying to say. Like, I feel like there's there's more to the story. I mean, I could explain it, but I think that ruins the... Yes, don't. Um, I don't know. I'll give this a... It's it's good. Obviously, some of you knows how to write. It's as good as some of the other shit today. I'll give this a seven. I would have graded it higher, but this is Nas. Okay. It's from a, this is a, a song I'd never heard. Until last night. Okay. I think Nas is a seven rapper, so there we go. I think he's a ten rapper. Um, I think this, this song's called Triple Beam Dreams. It's Rick Ross featuring um, Nas. Okay. And this whole verse is about him being a drug dealer, and he's not very good at drug dealing. He's not really successful at it, and he's watching other people better it than him. And, like, I really like this quote because of the – they dumb and – how could I sell this poison to my peoples in my mind? They dumb and destroy themselves is how I rationalize. Like he's conflicted about doing it. He knows he's hurting his community. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. But he's trying to justify it in his own inner self mm. to for the sake of like getting rich and shit. And like I, I don't know, I think that's powerful. That is. I remember watching Scarf. He's got dreams of being a drug lord. And then I mean, how yeah, could I do this to my people? But even oh, fuck just them. Like, even just reading those four bars, I, I got that feeling, you know. Like, so I just I think mean, that's just so powerful. That's he a does such a good job of doing that. That's a testament to him being a good writer. I just don't really care for his rapping, to be quite honest. I don't even know if it's like about him. It yeah. might be. I don't know, but like I think that's just him writing a tale about somebody in the hood. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. well done. I'm coming straight for your throat like a coyote on a goat. Note by note, you sweat me like. A hoe be no, you hoe. <laughs> Cannot find the antidote because when I start the flow, murder he wrote. <laughs> I'm coming straight for your throat like a coyote on a goat. Note by note, you sweat me like a hoe be no, you hoe. 
Cannot find the antidote because when I start the flow, murder he wrote. There's a lot of rhymes. I don't know that any of this is good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not impressed. Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Five. There's internals like that. Yeah, that that's makes fair. Makes it better than a four, I guess. That's fair. This I I have one beat. I would assume. I read this and hated it. So I'm th- not <laughs> impressed by it. <laughs> this is a song called "Here I Go" by Mystical. I'm not impressed by Mystical we, either. We don't talk about Mystical enough on this show, so I want We talk about Mystical too much as of now. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate Mystical. He's not like the worst thing ever. He's fine. Like he's like a five. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he's not a, trash, but it's not for un- me. He had a very unique style. I've never heard anyone rap like him. He's just. I don't think. He, yeah. He's All fine. Right. Mystical's fine. All right. I don't hate him. Um, I think that was it for yours. I think that's it for mine too because we started with the last one. Yeah. All right. That's it. Right. Boom! 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 That boom! Was raise the. Fucking bores. All right. All right. All right. Lastly, we are going to count down top five, top five websites. Okay. Let's do it, man. Let's, let's bust this motherfucker out. All right. So real quick, I just want to put out my disclaimer that doing the top five websites, I have decided to not include itsendsbaby.com. Okay. And I've also decided That's not fair. to include iconoclash.net. That's fair. I did the same. I thought about it. I almost made it my one and two. Hmm. Could have easily. Uh, it sends baby dot com would have been number one, mm-hmm. and Iconoclash would have been number two because I'm only half of Iconoclash, but I'm all of it sends. I baby. understand. But <laughs> just like I have keysy dot com. Yeah, 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 fair. <laughs> but um, I decided not to do that. All right, all right. So those are my honorable mentions. Fair enough. Um, my websites and deadsoundtv dot com, which is just my personal YouTube. I'm gonna give an honorable mention. This is the only honorable mention I have, and I, I chose not to give shout outs to um, homies either, or else I'd have put unknown pod and stuff. Obviously. Right, right. right. Oh, no, we, can't, we can only do that so many times. Right. Um, I'm giving an honorable mention to this site. It's pretty new. It's called horriblehomevideo dot com. You can go there and buy all <laughs> kinds of sweet shirts. <laughs> That's a great name. Bro. <laughs> For a website, I yeah. don't even know what it is. Um, it's it's, cool. the, it's uh, where I bought that Michael Myers Riddle Box shirt. Okay. Um, it's also where I bought my other secret mystery shirt. I actually just bought this shirt too. Oh, look at this Ernest and fucking. Oh, you like the Ernest Ooh, shirt? Look at this Japanese Jason shirt, bro. Look, I just bought this today. I would so rock that, bro. There's only, I don't ever wear shit with print. I would wear that. There's only twenty five printed, man. Get on it. How much is it? Eighteen bucks. I'll give you a coupon code for two bucks off too. Ooh, that's pretty sweet, bro. Yeah. Um, that shit is really fucking rad. And then he's got this Ernest. Uh, Michael that Myers shit is right? rad. I know. It's he's he, he's the fucking. This man. is the same guy that designs all this stuff. Yeah, he did all these. Look at the Wu Tang W. The Michael Myers. Then there's the litter box, the riddle box one that looks like cats. There's an Animaniac shirt. That's cool. He's got all kinds of cool shit on here, man. And this is where I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's the same place I got that Mr. Eight Legs thing. I don't think they. It looks like they're not even selling them anymore. I don't know. Post. Bro, this is really cool. There you go. Yeah, I think he works with eight legs and uh, shit like that. So it's pretty cool. They like collab. He has all kinds of neat shit on here. Anyways, check it out. That's I cool. really like that Jason X one though because yeah, of the too. colors and everything too is what makes it cool. He it's actually, not just like another black T shirt. He actually released one of these that was like a light blue. That was the original color, and it sold out so fast. And then he made a variant. And that's what this one is. I like this one. Yeah, a me lot. too. I would wear that. You'll be seeing me wear this shit. I would wear that, bro. He does. If you hadn't already bought it, I would actually buy it. Yeah, hey, look, Justin Parker's listening and watching. What the fuck? Hell yeah, I'm talking about the site. Oh, that's fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> bro, that shirt is so fucking tight, uh, though. Uh, that's, uh, that's what I'm telling you, man. I can't wait to get I'll be wearing that bitch. If you it. hadn't bought that t-shirt, I would buy that t-shirt. <laughs> like, dead ass serious. But, yeah, like, I'm man. not going to be walking around wearing the same fucking t-shirts that you have. And, like, we're not doing that. Yeah, I feel you. And I never <laughs> wear shit with print unless it's my band. This Basket Krang was this? dope, too. I got, I got my band. Yeah. And I never, I wear blank everything. You've seen me a million times on this show. I don't wear shit with print on it unless it's, like... Our stuff, yeah. I would wear that. So that's it. a testament to your fucking designs, bro. <laughs> like that shit was so cool that I was like, yeah, I'd rock that. Yeah, he's the man. Um, that shit was rad. All right, um, that's my honorable mention for favorite website because that's been one of my favorite websites lately. I can't not stop spending money on that. Kind of website. blown away by the Jason X, bro. That shit was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Go buy it. Uh, all right, what's your? Uh, did you have an honorable mention? I gave them to you. Mine. Okay. Um, I already gave you sensebaby.com and I kind of crashed that. All right. I'll start with number five. My number five is slickdeals.net. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a cool site. You can go find cheap shit. It's a, it's a forum essentially, but the best deals get like upvoted to the front page, kind of like Reddit situation. And uh, I've, I've bought all kinds of games on here. Cool shit. Look, Sticker Mule. I just bought some stickers. Iconoclash stickers. Hey. I just bought them. They're coming in the mail. I, you didn't even clue me in. I didn't even get I a know. say in what stickers we're getting. Nope. It was only you a- pay for them, so you get to decide. <laughs> That's bullshit. You can go here and get a dollar and make some new ones, man. 
Um, <laughs> I guess. <yeah. laughs> uh, anyway, Slick Deals is sweet, man. You can look a six three uh, Xbox One controller for thirty seven bucks. Come on, but I find all kinds of cool shit on here. Oh, free yeah. games. Uh, it's a front. If you're ever just looking for you know something cheap, you don't want to see what you got. A few Wait, bucks in your that, pocket. What, go, what's that Kingston? Uh, solid state. Oh, that's, a, that's only 120 gigabytes. That ain't, that's fucking cheap, it's though. It's cheap, but it's only 120 gigs. Yeah, that's what's up. Anyway, slickdeals.net, my fa- one of my favorite websites. I go there every Fuck day. Yeah. What's that four terabyte down there? What's that, huh? Uh, let's see. Four terabyte internal for 85, 85 bucks. That's not bad. So you don't actually buy from Slick Deals, by the way. Every time you click one, it, sh- it shows it like, you like to where it's from. Right. That's tight. So check it out. Slickdeals.net. All right, what's your number you five? You go like dealsource.tech and shit like that. They have a bunch of those. Similar shit. Um, all right, my number five is going to be Lyric Genius because uh, not only do I use it constantly to do our Raise the Bar segment, but um, I love hip-hop. And not only does it Genius. have... Genius.com. Like, oh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, yeah. But, I've been using this to do uh, um, Raise the Bars too. Not only do do we use it all the time for Icon of Clash, mm-hmm. but I'm a rapper mm-hmm. and I love bars. And not only does it have everybody's fucking songs on it, but you can click on them, and it has explanations for yeah. things that you don't understand, and it's super fucking tight. That is and I will tight. say, like, occasionally there's, like, people's opinion, like, ooh, this is a great example of, like, don't give me your opinions on how good the, fu-. like, I'll, I'll make my own opinions, okay? Just tell me what it fucking means. <laughs> but, yeah, I feel you. For the most part, like, this is a really fucking awesome. Thank you, Justin Parker. Thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, bro. Uh, um, You're a man. I really do love being able to pick people's bars apart it's like, really great that's it's, something i would do on my own without a website yeah. so to have just a handy tool that helps you like that's cool for me i love bars it's a great tool i love bars i, I also love the uh, featured annotations by the actual artists themselves and shit yeah. and some of the songs yeah. it's pretty cool and that's a that's a really cool site i actually didn't even get hip to until uh, we started doing raise the bars but i i found myself randomly finding I've been songs using on years. there you could literally just type any song in the world and go on there and just click what shit means it's it's but i mean like neat. this is the type of thing where like the first time i heard that reindeer slave shit from lupe yeah. when i first heard that i played it back like six times and then pulled it up and started pouring over it you know what i'm saying like yeah because yeah. i just i love bars like I just, <laughs> i'm a, a hobbyist shit. too you know what i'm saying yeah all right, that's your number five. That's my number five. All right, my number five was Slick Deals. My number four is uh, Humble Bundle. It's a great one. Humble Bundle is the fucking shit. It's a great one. I spend money on Humble Bundle every month. I have a subscription now. <laughs> <laughs> I Ever since mine, Overwatch, but... I've been getting my subscription. Oh, yeah, I cancel mine. But, I love it. Um, I never buy individual games, but what, here's a few things I love about Humble. Number one, obviously, they have these really cool random bundles, if you don't know. Uh it seems like every week they have a new one, but there's usually one like good gaming one every month. Um, that has like four or five games. You pay a buck, you can get all of them. If you pay, if you beat the average, you can get like two or three more that are pretty fucking tight. Mm-hmm. And then if you, which is the average is usually anywhere between five and eight or nine bucks usually. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they usually have a third tier that's like 15 bucks and it comes with like a triple A title or like yeah. some other dope game that you couldn't get before. Yeah. Um, like I, I just sent a link to you. They have this new PlayStation bundle on here. This indie PlayStation. Did you get that? I said you would. I thought you'd be into this. Um, oh, I did. Yeah. So right now you can pay a dollar to get either, any of these games, but then you could pay beat the average of ten twenty nine to get I have Layers of Fear, Layers of Fear, Wasteland Two, and the Talos Principle and Broken Age, and then fifteen dollars will get you Killing and Floor. I have Killing Floor and Shadow Warrior. But so it, like the, the, that would be a good bundle for me. You're not wrong for thinking that because. Yeah. Um, Layers of Fear and Killing Floor would both be selling points to me, but I have them both. Oh yeah. And then true. the other one that interests me is Grim Fandango, and mm. that's just because I like. I like point and click adventures. They're fun. Yeah, one buck you can go get it, and the Bard's Tale, which I hear is yeah. pretty fun too. Um, but anyways, that's what Humble Bundle is. Actually, they today's Tuesday. They debut their new bundles on Tuesday. There's probably a brand new one. Like, I don't fuck know. yeah, this maybe this one, this uh, Paradox 19. Yeah, I haven't seen this one. This is brand new. Just posted today. Magicka two, uh, bunch of kind of boring games. But I have a lot of these. Actually, I've just never really played them. Yeah, there's nothing for me there. Anywho, that's my number four. All right. Oh, and oh, my favorite part, by the way, is when you go to buy the games, you can it supports a charity, and you could pick like how much you want yeah. to donate to charity. I always, every single time, donate it all to charity. Every dollar I I pay on it, yeah, fuck, fuck it. it. Yeah. Um, and what's cool is you could pick your charity, and I always pick the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. <laughs> cool. Anyways, <laughs> so donate to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. By the Hell way, yeah. All right. What is your number four? My number four is Wikipedia. Mm, good one. Um, I know this may seem silly, but I I have this thing about like the internet. Like I feel like the internet's making people stupid, mm, right? Okay. Like I feel like people just people use the internet for all the wrong things and become dumber and dumber every fucking day. Okay, 
And it seems crazy to me because you have more knowledge at your fingertips than you've ever had before. You don't need to go to a library to have 10,000 things at your fingertips. That's true. You have it in your phone. That's true. You can learn everything on the internet. Like fucking everything. It's amazing how much shit you can learn <laughs> on the internet. And Wikipedia, while obviously it's written by people and it's not always 100% accurate, they do say that it's like, while actual encyclopedias are only like 80% accurate because they get dated. And yeah. you have this like encyclopedia, so when you read it, like it's not always up to date. This one's ever changing. This one's ever changing. So even when people put things that are false, they get adjusted and changed. And they say that this is like 5% less accurate than an actual encyclopedia. Okay. So it's very accurate. Um, All right. I just, I look up every time I wonder anything about anything, I can go find it. And I love that. It's a dope choice. I love to like learn new shit. So I'm always trying to look, learn new shit. A lot of times I'll be writing rap songs and I won't, I have like this, this word that I'm pulling that I like, I have an idea about, but I'm not mm. sure. And I can pull it up and learn the whole history behind whatever this historical thing is or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like I just yeah. love it. I love it. Yeah. It's I a, love it's, to expand my mind. It's a great resource, and, uh, especially for stuff like that. I use it often. Um, I still need to get on making Boba Flex uh, Wikipedia. I'm on it, Boba yep, Flex. Yep. Oh. All right, that was your number four? Yep. All right, we got to fly through these. I only got, shit, 15 minutes. Um, all right. My number four was Humble Bundle. My number three, this is one of my favorite fucking websites, man. RARBG.2. <laughs> what the fuck is this, bro? RARBG is a torrent website oh, that cool. you can go and find all kinds of stuff. Fuck yeah. You can click movies and you can find any fucking movie you're looking for. It's on here. They got the top ones at the top. Like Robin <coughs> Hood just came out. Overlord is on here. What's this one? Can you ever forgive me? Whatever that is. But very great interface. You know how like uh, anyone who's been like in the pirate scene, which I'm not, of course. I would never do this. But um, of course not. Anyone who's in the pirate scene knows like there's been go to websites. Like, of course, Pirate Bay was the big mm -hmm. one. Then like everybody kind of migrated to. There was one called Mini Nova that was really popular back in the day. It kind of came and went. ISO Hunt came and went. Kick Ass Torrents was at the top of the game for a while. Did you ever use that? Kick Ass Torrents? I've never used Torrents, period, because Torrents confused me. Oh, okay. I've, I used to bootleg things all the time when you could just download things, yeah. and then Torrents like threw a fucking whole monkey wrench up into that. And use I like, like Kazaa. Oh, yeah, I used to use Kazaa, LimeWire, yeah. ShareBear, all um, that shit. I, I found that um, SoulSeek, which was back around, back, uh, around uh. back in the day, I find that's a good tool to find some obscure music, especially underground shit if you're looking for it. It's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, anyway, it's still out, and I still use it sometimes. Well, if I need anything, I just ask you to get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're that guy. That's you're it. my dealer, bro. RAR, R A R B G dot T O. It's the bomb. If you're looking for the next site, this is it. I mean, this one is is the one. If you if you need a torrent site, this is it. All oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> What's your number three? My number three is going to be big shocker here. Amazon dot com. All right. Because I like to shop on Amazon. You know what I really like about shopping on Amazon? Like what? one of my favorite things about shopping on Amazon, aside from the fact they have everything and great deals all the time and all what? that, and two day shipping, and that's all great. What? My favorite thing. What? Is I save all my change every month mm. and I make like 80, 90 bucks every month in change mm. and I don't want to roll it, mm -hmm. but I don't want to give a machine 10% of my money either. Right? Sure. Well, if you got a little fucking machines like Kroger and shit, mm -hmm. pour your money in <clears throat> and counts it all up and you got to get your voucher and it'll take 10% or you can get the full amount in Amazon credit. Oh, that's what's up. So I always get the Amazon gift card and then I just get shit I need on Amazon. Yeah. It's fucking great. I love Amazon. So I don't have to give them any of my money. And I already love Amazon. I don't mind. I think Amazon fucking is just great. kind of like a... It's almost like a resource. You know what I mean? Like, like Amazon the fucking, is killing the fucking game, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's like the grocery store. You know what I mean? Of course it's your one of your favorite fucking websites. It would make no sense otherwise. I just you got know? a fucking Amazon Echo Dot. That shit is fucking yeah, great, bro. I, like, I, I literally have like seven of them I'm in my smart house. housing. <laughs> I'm smart homing everything. Like, it's great. I just, Amazon is just, there's two companies, like I'm super against big business and all that shit. I hate it. But the two that I just think are the most convenient, greatest fucking things ever, and are, while they're probably terrible for business in the sense of big business, they are great for mankind in that they're pushing technology forward and all of us forward. Yeah. And that's... You need that? Uh, Take that, man? Nope. Oh. Um, it's Amazon and Google. Like, yeah, They're pushing you. humanity forward. I'm with it. So like, I can't hate them too much. I, I get it, man. That's like, I mean, Amazon's a great choice. Like, no one's going to argue with you there. It is literally one of the undisputed greatest sites of all time. They're fucking great. Um, my number three was RBG. My number two is AliExpress. 
Really? Which is the Chinese Amazon. Why are you going to AliExpress, <laughs> bro? It's all junk. Oh, I love AliExpress. It's all junk. I love it, dude. I just... You know what I just did on AliExpress last a couple weeks ago? I bought uh, my dash cam has been fucking. Up. I have a cheap, shitty dash cam that I got from Amazon. So you went to AliExpress and got another cheap, shitty nope. everything else that you nope. bought on AliExpress? Nope. I got a cheap, shitty dash cam off of Amazon a few years ago, and it hasn't been like holding charge. Wouldn't matter except it keeps resetting the date, which really pisses me off. But I got on AliExpress. I took the motherfucker apart, got on AliExpress, looked for the exact battery. I also found like, a new like suction cup, just the mount. I don't need the whole thing. I found it for like a buck thirty. You know, two dollars for the battery for five bucks. I, I waited two weeks to get it, but for five bucks, I fixed my dash cam. See, you know that seems I mean? crazy to me, though. You spent five dollars on AliExpress to fix your dash cam, and you could have spent five dollars on AliExpress to have a fifty-inch TV because everything on <laughs> AliExpress is five dollars. It's just all junk. <laughs> it's not all junk. I'll, I'll have you know, um, when I was modding my 3DS for the first time, I ruined it. Uh, ruined it somehow, and um, I ended up having to buy a replacement board, and I. Took the gamble on one on eBay and got one from a guy, and it ended up like not working. Man, I, I mean, I it was just money lost. I couldn't like say this right. doesn't work, bro. He'd be like, "Fuck you, yes it does." But I was like, "Fuck it." Got on AliExpress and found one that was a little cheaper. I was like, "It's from AliExpress. We'll see." It was like fifty something dollars still, but got it. Worked like a goddamn charm. There you go. And that's been running my 3ds since. You can so, find some really wild shit on AliExpress. That's what I'm telling you, man. Anything you, especially little dumb junk. Look on AliExpress first. It really is going to be cheaper, no matter what. Chargers, cords, especially, you know, shit like that. I love yeah. it. I could I could find a million things on there. I have bought a million things. All right. Yeah, yeah. What's your number? <laughs> that was my number three, I think, two. Yeah, that was my number two. I my love number, AliExpress. My number two is IGN. Okay. That's you actually go to IGN's website or you lot. just watch their shit on uh, YouTube? Okay. I use it for like all kinds of video game stuff. This is literally the first to, time I've ever been to IGN. If I if I need a guide, I go to IGN. If I need, oh cool. Um, like I just check a lot of tech news on IGN. Okay. Um, I love IGN. I I think it's far and away the best of its kind. Seems cool. I I never I never go to it. I don't know why. I yeah. just kind of get my re my um, gaming news from Reddit and shit. I guess they just kind of congregate or what's what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. I kind uh, of I, get it together for me. I didn't include Reddit in my list because it was more app-like. Yeah. I didn't include Reddit for the same reason I didn't include, like, Amazon, honestly. but Like, I didn't include, like, YouTube or anything. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Same. Like, I intentionally, because, like... Yeah, I mean, like I could have... My list could have been fucking YouTube, uh, Twitter, fucking Facebook, Amazon. Yeah, yeah. You know, all the regular... Yeah. But that's no I fun. Tried, I tried to avoid that. I feel it. AGN seems cool, though. I, I really should try checking it out. As a gamer, it's stupid that I don't. It's fucking great. I love that website. I'll peep it. All right. That's what's up. That's your number two? Yep. All right, man. What's your number one? You ready for my number one? I wonder if we have the same number one. Oh. Hold on. I think if we don't, yours is wrong. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I think. Do you want to say it at the same time? No. I I, uh, I don't think it's the same, but um, if we don't have the same number one, yours is wrong. I can't show you because it's xvideos.com. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> yeah. I thought for sure you were going to be a Pornhub guy. <laughs> no. No, Xvideos is way superior, bro. Yeah. Yeah, Xvideos.com is mine. That's Hell mine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's my number one. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You got to say it at the same time. You know, here it is. Uh, yeah. I oh, mean, look. Oh, I, oh. I go to it in the very first video. I thought you had it on there. Oh, no, God. No, I'm not, I can't put that on yeah, there. Yeah, no, don't. Uh, I have, like, an account. I, like, save videos. I have, like, all my oh, favorites. Nice. I have subscribed to all my favorite stars and Hell yeah um you know what i'm saying like i have like certain pages that i follow so <laughs> my the whole feed is just nothing but big ass women like it's awesome you go, you go crazy with it bro yeah, yeah Damn, i'm about it that's what's up i like this shit. i got like playlists like this one's all big ass videos and this one is big ass videos but they have story plots oh. and this one yeah bro wow. i'm about it bro i'm you with got, it yeah i'm you didn't give me your login i'm an x video <laughs> pro bro <laughs> that's what's up hell yeah man that's good shit well, good stuff, man. We have the same number one website. That's what's up. Not I definitely thought you were a Pornhub guy. No, nope. I think we've discussed this before. That's why I was like, oh, maybe have he does we? have the same one. Yeah, I think so. I Dude. feel like everybody else is a Pornhub guy. And I'm like, have you guys not seen X videos? Because it's better. <laughs> Like, yeah. there's, like, red tube. You yeah. got to get this off the screen, bro. Like, we can't be watching porn here while we're doing the fucking podcast. <laughs> well, I've been going to every other website. I had to go to porn or X videos. 
right. I thought it wasn't even a naked chick on screen. It was a chick sucking a dick the whole time. We just saw a dick in my face the whole time. We're fucking talking about this. There you go. Is that better? No, go. turn it off, bro. Come on. <laughs> All right. So I'm walking X, out of here pitching a tent. X videos. Your is also your uh, yes. favorite. All right, that's what's yeah, up. It's man. the best one, bro. It is. It's the best one. Xvideos.com. Check it out. They even have the little categories. You can go to big ass, and it'll just be all the women with the big ass. Yeah, the best. <laughs> I like big asses, if you can't tell. Yeah, that's what's up, bro. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that was fun. That was great. Hell yeah. Um, well, I'm going to try to figure out how we can get on fucking caffeine. That's going to be my, my right, next cool. goal, I'm by the way. I'm with it, bro. Um, we'll see. I still Shout out to Calf. Shout out to Calf. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you wanna go see, yeah let's go see what Calf's up to real quick. We're going to check on, in on him one more time? Yeah, let's check on him one more time. But before we wrap it up, well, we got a couple minutes. <laughs> We're not going to be able to leave again. He's like, where'd you guys go? There he is. I know. <laughs> it was calf underscore caffeine. Oh, he's not on any. Oh, he's still oh, he on. Oh, sh- What's up, calf? I can't hear him. Oh. Hold on. Here we go. Stopping in to say hi before we shut down the podcast. <laughs> What's up, calf? K A P H. Check him out, man. He's the man. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm I'm good with that. All right. Whatever. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time. Um, make sure you check out uh, YouTube and Facebook, Instagram, oh, Twitter, iconoclast.net, <laughs> itendsbaby.com. You know the drill. Unknown check us pod. out on all that. Unknownpod.com. Thank you. Oh, and you know what? Brandon's been doing Howdy Radio, the next generation, with Lane once again. <laughs> um, enough, Cass. They've been doing Howdy Radio the Next Generation again, which they took a little break. So it's nice that they've been doing that. It's fun. Um, they've been talking about wrestling a lot. So if you like wrestling, for especially, or video games, uh, check out uh, Howdy Radio the Next Generation, too. That's really cool. Bet. Anything else you want to talk about? Uh, or anything else you got to mention or plug, I mean? Yeah, I was on the left door. Come see him. Come see him. All right, guys. Check. Thanks for checking us out. We'll catch you next time on our kind of class. Peace. What up? Thanks for watching and or listening and checking out our podcast. Uh, yeah, make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment on your Facebooks, Instagrams, Twitters, and all that stuff. YouTube. Give us a subscribe on YouTube. We need that. It's in baby.com, iconoclash.net. Thanks. Uh, here we go. Ready? We're going to break that. Uh. <laughs>